I'll be in shortly. It's a small enough world. <laughs> There's nothing here. There's a single flying thing and a lot of wreckage I made last time. Uh, you ought to put down a welcome station. Yeah, let me land first. What's up, what's up, guys? Welcome to Wasted Space. Welcome to my workshop. We got a visitor in the workshop today. We don't, we don't really have a workshop. We've got a, got a frosty plane, but we've got a visitor to our frosty plane, at least. It's a Mr. Texfire. Look at that. He, I, I told him it was really, really hot in Texas now, and he said, I've got somewhere nice and cold for you. Uh, confirmed. Is indeed nice and cold. Nice familiar location as well. Commander spent a good while here. God, you're not going to go psychotic again, are you? No, that's not the plan, no. No, we're going to try and keep it together this evening while we investigate a few of the suggestions from last week. So remember the deal with this little show here is that every week, a bit like, I don't know, what, what have people been confer uh, comparing it to? There was Will It Blend, uh, and there's sort of Mythbusters renamed into Clangbusters. It's my workshop, damn it. And what we do is we mess around with silly ideas suggested in the last week's video. So if you go to the comment of last week's video, there's a lot of people that made suggestions. And I went down and kind of just picked one that had a lot of decent number of likes on it. And that one tonight is messing around with, what did you call it, Tex? Ramifications uh, of Bob. The ramifications of Bob. Or in this case, whether or not we can actually manage to build a base in a box. Like, Bob technically is capable of projector building quite a bit gets rid of a lot of the issues we have, say, with meaning that you've got to use silly projector, like weld the matrix things with pistons everywhere and whatnot. So can we just fire a box at a planet with some parachutes on it and a bob and build a base entirely from that? Seems like a very neat way of doing things. Let me come in to land, see if I... Oh yes, now I remember this thing's got no brakes and this is the version apparently that has no air brakes either. Roger that. Well, the first half of the stream is going to be that thing stopping to land. Uh, no, it'll be it crashing, probably. I can't imagine <laughs> I'm going to be able to stop it. There's too many trees around here, Tex. They're on the ground this time, but there's still too many trees. Yeah, this, it's just taken back off again. It's not happening. All right, then. Let's find a tree. A tree with my name on it. This looks like it's got my name on it. Uh, I bounced. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, I, I, I wasn't here last week, but uh, so the, the whole concept of this theory is is, is either either uh, exploring a, a particular mod or a particular concept. In this case, the concept today is is a base in a box by using the build and repair mod. Yeah, some, some weeks it'll be mods, and some weeks we'll look at something, if there's something cool and exciting that comes out in the workshop, we'll go and investigate some of the stuff you can do with it. Like that week, um, Hover Engines came out, we would have done Hover Engines, for example. But, uh, given that there's been some very, very cool designs, but nothing that stood out as like, oh, look at the options that have been opened up by this, we figured Bob's Space in a Box would be the one. There is a welcome so center down, Mr. Dexfire. Yeah, I am... Um, Not very pretty spot, It's, it's streaming right now. So the one thing, it's it's not going to be quite survival ready, or at least it's not going to be vanilla survival ready, because it's got that one mod. Yeah, we need Bob for this. Um, as We could do it with pistons. It, I've, I've done one with pistons, but it's horrible. You end up with all sorts of issues when you do it that way. So honestly, we're going to use one mod and otherwise try, yes, to keep it as um, survival ready as purpose, uh, as possible. Yeah, Molduck, I did leave the ducking on on purpose. Uh, I figured it might mean there's some music in the quiet times, but you guys let me know how it's working, and if it's a bit weird, then I can turn it off and turn the music down instead. Yeah. Uh, you want to make a function just so we don't have ownership issues? Or a faction? A function? A, a what is your major malfunction, Mr. Textfire? <laughs> it's malfunction Junction. What's your, uh, what's your major malfunction? Nobody's going to get that other than like a handful of people. They were old, old enough to have experienced Schoolhouse Rock. You may join. May join. But yeah, we're going to... Uh, we're going to build a base in the box. Now, the few things we're going to do with this... I mean, it, as a concept, it's not that difficult, but there's some things we can do to try and perhaps improve the functionality of things. One thing we talked about before the stream started was making sure that everything 
was very straightforward once it landed. Button panels to print everything out for you. We've got a huge area to cover because just even one bob can cover like 75 meters squared. So you've got loads of space. So I think it's more about deciding on a bit of a format for the core section that lands first and also the shape, size, dimensions of the pods we're going to build onto it. Yeah, so uh, I, I think I think what we need is obviously a, uh, um, a the smallest droppable package you can come up with and then have it built as sort of like the center point of, of a hub that it builds around itself. Mm -hmm. Don't you? Yep, 100%. 100%. So you have the sort of modulus station style, moon base style, you know, build build your air sealed pods one at a time and that way you can be inside it not suffocating as your base slowly builds. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I guess I would love to be able to fit everything that we need for the hub in like a, uh, a small car container. I don't think we'll do it. I don't think we're going to be able to do that. But because I think be part really of the attraction would be able to drop most of the materials required for this base at once. You know? Okay, so... Well, and the advantage of a large car container, of course, is that uh, if somebody's running 1x, then 1x storage, it still has enough capacity to store everything you need. So, uh, Tenebris asking, asking an interesting question, because this is another one that we've already sort of talked about a little bit and, and realized is going to be a potential bit of a problem, which is how do you get this thing to be completely level with gravity? Now, one thing you can do, obviously, is aid it with the parachutes. Parachutes will certainly help with that, but you don't know what you're landing on. And short of adding a self-writing mechanism so at least it's upright, I don't think we've got any major solutions to this, do we, Tex? No, we talked about it, and, and, and obviously one solution would be a block that actually levels itself, like one of the hover engines, but I, I like the idea of doing it with one mod only. The, the hover engine might be an option, a replacement for the, uh, the parachute hatch if you're trying to land this on a block that doesn't have atmosphere. But I would love to figure out a way of doing it you know, without any of that. So, I don't know. What do you think? Um, I can certainly gears on piston. I can certainly build a a rotor based system that would at least ensure that it's upright. Whether that's enough, I don't know. I've just also realised that uh, we probably want to do this a bit off the ground so that we can put stuff underneath it as well. Uh, and the chances are the actual like cargo container itself needs a bit of a cage around it. Mm-hmm. Something that, that in, will uh, will absorb an impact. I mean, we could have auto-lock landing gear on and just rely on the fact that the parachutes are going to sort us out. We're going to approach whatever bit of ground we hit first level, and then the landing gear will solve that for us. But we could end up in some really odd places. <laughs> you know, half sticking out the side of a mountain or whatever. Unfortunately, auto-leveling scripts, while very cool, is not something I know how to make. So, <laughs> there are some intrinsic problems with, with choosing the auto-leveling role. Now, part of me thinks, Tex, we actually, I know the parachute kind of makes some sense to put it centrally like that. I think mm -hmm. we need the build and repair central. Yeah. Um, the projectors we can kind of hide away because they're going to come off each side of this, I think. Do we want, oh, there's a question, I mean, we start off in the box. Do we have it build its own room first? I think so. Absolutely. I think I think it builds the central hub around the container. Don't you? Yeah, I, I do. I was just trying to get through my head there how exactly... So we need to separate it, need to lift it up from the ground then, so it needs to land on something that's going to give us room to build underneath it. Like the bottom, the one tiny bit on the bottom needs to be pre-built, basically, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. So now we immediately get to the how are we going to, or, or what are we going to do as far as our approach to the ground is concerned. Just also level well, the projector and build a separate grid. Unfortunately, Anathros, you can't do that. Um, anything you projector build has to be attached to an existing grid in order to weld. So you can't just hang some, float something out in the air and then go and weld it up. It doesn't work. So it's automatically going to be leveled with whatever we build off of. Yeah, and that would be awesome. I mean, I mean, 
if if you could actually project into the ground and and then build it that would be that would be the solution but unfortunately that's not really the case i, I mean correct me if i'm wrong but no no that you cannot project we, we tried that out last week so we, we we did a bit of testing on that for a minefield and so, we know so what that... about like an elevated base then like something yep we could i'm put, thinking we so could put like a connector on the bottom and that would give you something to actually like build a vehicle and then connect to Yeah, we might as well do that on one of the modules, though, right? I was thinking, like, on the bottom of the uh, cargo container. Have a connector in the very bottom well, we need with the, that, the that armor cargo, surrounding it. That cargo container needs to hit, connect itself to the ground. Remember? So that's going to need to land on a landing gear or something called the entire base. It'll have a possibility of moving. That's what I'm saying. It's like, have, have feet that, that landed up off of the ground? With a cargo container, yeah, I'm with, you. with a connector right underneath the cargo container. But yeah, you're, I think we need the landing feet first. Hey, anyway, if you want to work on the landing portion of it, I'll try to just come up with a real quick. I'm trying to decide design. whether or not I want to attempt a Shremek. A what? A Shremek, a self writing mechanism. So instead of having this land on a piston, it lands on some legs. Yeah, that's uh, kind of what I was thinking. But some legs that fold out to make sure that it's level. <laughs> but the, the whole theory here, guys, is that is that you we want it to be autonomous. We want it to automatically to 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 drop it, have it land on, have it hanging underneath a parachute, detect when it's near the ground, and then trigger the timer to uh, to turn on the build and build itself. So that you don't have to have antennas or anything else. It's all sort of automatically done. Hmm. Because if we build these, if I build a Shremek on it, the Shremek's going to get in the way of them welding up the rest of the base. Michael Bennett suggesting a rotor-based pendulum to use gravity to point it down with a projector at its tip. Yeah, and yeah, Bob's no different to a, a person building, so unfortunately it's not going to make any difference. <sighs> alright, alright, alright. All right. Make an assumption that I can get rid of these. Let's have them out side a bit. Access denied. What? Why is it access denied? Oh, I know how I can do this. Ideas, Tex. We can yeah, self-write and then yeah. uh, when we turn Bob on, we can have the self-writing mechanism painted pink. Bob's not running. After it self-writes, it removes the... Uh, the bits that are doing that as it builds itself up, perhaps. Oh, so like a variation on what we were talking about with like a, a self-deleting sky crane. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm on. I'm on board with that. That seems interesting. Just so gonna come down, unfold the legs. The legs help to get it flat. The pendulum idea still doesn't give you anything to build attached to, though, mind. That's the problem there. <clears throat> oh, Wolfbane, thank you very much. I won't do this tomorrow, so I'm going to do a suggestion now. Why don't you make a safe Halo ODST drop pod complete with survival gear storage? I think I've actually done that before. Not Halo-based, but I've done one of those before. I'm not buying this this rotor legs idea. I still don't see how it's going to actually... Well, I suppose I could test it, but... So far, not massively convinced by my own thinking. Yeah. The more I build on it, the less and less convinced I'm getting.
you can't build off of the pendulum. That's the thing. Uh, that again, it, and you need to f fix this to the ground. So, um, oh, I see what you're suggesting. Wow, that's bananas. That's utterly bonkers, guys. Really. Uh, okay. You're still going to attach the base to the ground, so you'd have to have, like, an extendable piston that then builds uh, that with a landing gear on the end of it, which just brings you back to the same thing again, doesn't it? You've got a land... You just land where you land. Oh, well, I'm going to do this because it's funny anyway. It's not going to work, but I'm going to... It takes a few seconds to set up the remainder of this. I might as well. Okay. I don't know if it take, requires trim blocks. It kind of looks like it requires plain blocks. Which could be fun, too. You know, have an unpowered sort of glider, glider lander. Mm -hmm. Now let's see whether or not I manage to get this thing to come back alive. Because YouTube will sometimes just go, nah, you can't resume that stream. No, it's, it's back. There's that one where I had to basically set up another stream completely live ready to go back alive again. Sorry, guys. For anyone who's watching the VOD, absolutely nothing will have happened. It's like the magic of film, <laughs> except I didn't even have to do anything. But for you guys who are sitting in chat, I apologize. That was what they call a pretty standard... Well, it's not even the blue screen. It's the new Windows 10 blue screen that pisses you off because it's clearly working. And it brings up the, the QR code. It's like, we're just analyzing details we're never going to tell you about. I'm kind of amazed the original stream recovered. Yeah, so am I. It's like telling me it's um, bad. <laughs> Variable yeah, resolution bad stream. bad stream. We did make some decisions, however. Oh god, I also didn't take any saves, by the way. Oh, okay, that's right. We're, we're starting. Over. To be fair, we, we, we've got we've got a slight different plan, a slight different approach to this now. The different plan, the different approach is we're gonna fly it in, not with loads of thrust, it's just enough to get it to land so that we can pick its landing spot and set up Bob so that the very first thing he does is cannibalize all the parts we use to fly it down there so that it just turns it back into a standard platform again and we can build the blueprint up off of that. Rather than try and be super duper clever, like, clever with auto leveling and stuff that's just clearly not working. Yep. I think that's a plan. Oh, yeah. So we so we basically have a, a flying sort of the core of a base hub, and then it just sets down and builds. Yep, I think that's the plan. And then in the future, or or, at, or as they would say at Bob's Base Emporium, you know, here at Bob's <laughs> Base Emporium, we can sell you a base in a box. Unfortunately, we can't sell you a base that builds itself quite yet. Our engineers are trying to work out all the bugs, but we can totally sell you a base today that you could land and you press one button and it will build itself. <clears throat> For forty nine ninety five. <laughs> Will I look beautiful as well? Yeah. Well, you know, if you have a dent, we can get that dent out for just forty nine ninety five, and then we can paint it pink. Well, we actually discussed it, uh, discussed using Lucas's color changer block. Uh, which is certainly possible, but unfortunately the way it currently works is it uses a target block and a copy block. So uh, it, the, we, we finally figured out that it was easier to just simply paint all the parts that you wanted to get of the right color rid of and then turn on the bob once you land and it just automatically gets rid of them rather than having to change color on them. Yeah, the, the problem with that was intrinsically, in order to get it to change colour, you had to paint a block that colour, and the very first thing Bob would do if you painted the block that colour is grind it down. So <laughs> it kind of didn't, like, by default, it kind of doesn't work, unfortunately. So as long as you wanted an obnoxiously pink lander, it's totally workable. He needs a uh, text he, miniseries that's just him selling wasted workshop <laughs> builds. I'll be down uh, for that. I need, <laughs> I need a spawn point and you need to go online. Uh, 
And now I'm freaking out every time anything happens. Any little pause, right? No blue screen shit. No. No, health. no, no death. No death. <laughs> Please you can control true. Bob from a script, but I don't know how to script. This is always the problem. Yeah, see, that's that's the problem. Okay, how are we gonna? Do we want a hydrogen? Uh, what, what what sort of thrust do we want for this? Because again, if we run Atmo, it does prevent it from being something that would work on a moon. Oh, okay. You mean like make it hydro right from the start? Yeah, yeah. Well, part of me that. is wondering whether hydrogen would do that. I mean, either that or we... I mean... It... Ions are just not going to work. You can't put enough on. The only, the only thruster that's universal here, aside from just going, okay, it needs ion and ammo, is to use hydrogen and use some of the space in our main cargo for ice. Can we make this... Should we make it like Lunar Lander, where you've got a single thruster underneath it and you have to balance on it to land, or is that immediately make it too complicated for most people? For what should be really kind of an easy mode? Well, I, I think that's a bit complex for what should be easy mode. I mean, you can you can do it, and technically that's the lander thing still, isn't it? And even that's got a couple. Hmm. There's an argument here. It doesn't matter if we use Ion and Atmo. Because we're going to grind yeah. it down, and it's all parts. Yeah. So that's technically, true. we can just fly this this centre portion down, get rid of whatever it might be. I'm tempted to even put them in the floor and just grind out bits of the floor and replace it. I, I like the idea of it being hydro, though, because what we could do is you could put it on hydro uh, on an on an H2 generator, not even have like a hydrogen tank, and then just load enough ice to where it can it can land and then do a side do a suicide burn land and then you can then use the h2 generator for generating breathable air it's just that it would be um using up some of the cargo space we've got for the actual build itself which is my my concern at least no well, i mean uh, either that or else you put a big ass uh hydrogen tank on it True. And then you just grind seems, down afterwards. Seems wasteful. Uh, I need to be able to connect. Well, it's all parts again. So there's an argument that taking hydrogen or ice with it you then don't use is waste, whereas power is power. That's true. So you're thinking ions? I'm thinking ion and that mode because you can enough just ion for steering and then parachutes to slow you down for the gravity. Well, maybe and with maybe ion uh, atmo just downwards and the ion's going to give you enough thrust to just shift sideways because you're only going to grind them away afterwards anyway. You know, you're only going to get rid of the things. I need you to go online for me to be able to connect. Oh, dog, sorry, text. I, th <laughs> I thought you meant the private thing. No, no, no. I just okay. So for the very basics of the like the landing vessel. Anathros, oh man, you legend. Since the changes to uncorrupted survival to SAT plus relocating from US East to West Coast, not going to be able to walk catch as many streams going on. I use this channel, I use this chance to dole some dollars your way and say thanks for the great series. I'll keep enjoying the VODs. Well, thank you very much, man. And I do make sure I go through and read all the comments, of course. I'll still catch you when people say stuff and so on. I still read it. Uh... I'm, sorry. I'm sorry you're not going to be able to catch them. And unfortunately, it's a case of when we moved to the Saturdays, it, it worked out for a lot of people, and there's some people who probably didn't work out for it at all. Uh, it's, it sounds like partly it's also his his own personal move as well that's kind of put the two together, and you've got some got some nastiness. But hey, don't forget I also stream over on Twitch on pretty much every single night. It's quite late for some people, but pretty much every night, including after tonight's uh, this stream, I will be over there. Okay. So, in reality, anything we build on this lander is simply going to get removed again. Essentially. Yeah, I still think we need basically our basic core, our 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 building core. Yeah, I'm just trying to build a framework up to actually attach thrusters on, and I might as well have it all built in pink to begin with. Mm -hmm. And if we're going to build the core, like I'd, I'd be inclined to try and put as much of it on top as possible. But suggest away, Tex. You sounded like you had something on the tip of your tongue. 
Oh, I was just going to do like just a cockpit rather than like an actual control seat. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. In which case, if we're going to do that, then we need... We, I, I still feel like we probably need... We Don't probably want, need some kind of H2... Looks ugly as sin at the moment. We need to do... Some, right. I will, I will work on the temporary parts. You work on the permanent parts. How about that? Okay. Sounds like... We talked about using the hover engines, and we wanted, we're trying to avoid it because it's another mod, basically. Um, so while, you know, we, have, we do have a mod running already, there is an argument that just having another mod is not necessarily great. Okay, so I'm inclined to go to core ammo downwards, the ion. Somewhere about. Now this is going to be atmospheric ion flying, so we need quite a bit in the end. Mm -hmm. How do we want this to look as well when it unfolds? Because the, like the first thing, are we going to drop like a long thin thing and that works itself out, or is it something wide and flat, or? I like the idea of just this like pole launching itself down in. Well, yeah, like, I, I think probably like four landing legs. If we're going to hold it level long enough to extend some legs, what we need is like a sensor arrangement on on the legs to where as they as they extend out, they they automatically lock once they get within re or you know if you have them for auto lock, do they just automatically lock themselves? Um, yeah, and then they start lifting the ship. <laughs> so some, so some way to shut the power to the piston. All right, do you want me blocks. to... All right, I can set up some piston like leveling for the main platform. Yeah, I mean, like, it would all be solved, honestly, if you could just simply project box into the box holes. Yeah, that but you can't, the... unfortunately, <laughs> no. so... I like how it keeps ejecting air out of, like, yep. steel surfaces. Because <laughs> that's where I keep it. Okay, so how wide do we want? Because I mean, these will need to be. Or do we build the piston? We just actually no, we can't build the pistons because it won't weld the piston heads. So these have to be pre-built. It's a separate grid, so it doesn't do any cross welding if you do that. So I mean, is this wide enough apart? I'm not sure it is to really level properly. But you can't build these into the floor because they're not airtight. Also, mirroring. That's a thing. So we're going with Atmo only, not... Uh... No, no, we're going to mix. Atmo and Ion. Atmo downwards, along with some Ion downwards, and then all the other directions will just be Ion. That way, it's got space control to some extent. It's got control on a moon, uh, mm -hmm. but you haven't built loads and loads of Atmos on it. You'll have enough to go sideways, and that will be about it. Ah, uh, Taxi, are you okay if I don't do this auto leveling piston thing? Yeah, no, I'm okay. It, it, I'd, only because we're, we're getting a long way away from a base from the of original. Box. Yeah. Uh, and, and in reality, if we're putting thrusters on it now, then we don't need that because we can go and find ourselves somewhere level two land, you know? Okay. We just need to have it like up high enough to where it'll settle down where it is and have room to sort of build. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. No, I got you. So, okay. So what if... What if we had a projected line of blocks that were down to the ground on each module, and that just builds whatever it can build underneath each module? It, it then, won't go into just, the ground. And then we just, I know, it won't go into the ground, but it, it'll do whatever blocks will go low enough, right? 
that still be out of the ground, and then you could just settle down on those blocks, right? And yeah, but then the entire base still is not actually attached to anything. That will cause clang to the nth degree. You space engineers won't let us get away with that. No, and then you manually just go out and you uh, you you put blocks into it, right? Good too, but why not just lock it to the ground? No. Okay. That works. Just just put up some landing legs. And then if you want to go out and add those things later, look, put it down to the ground, then it's just a few blocks anyway. But you haven't sort of made that an intrinsic part of the design. Uh, we're not going to need loads of gyros for this, are we? We probably only need like one or two. Let's go for a couple. And then, because we can, there's absolutely no harm in doing so. We'll just be grinding this stuff away afterwards anyway. Uh, do we want any timers specific to the landing? Probably not. Do we need the, like, the base floor, or is that going to be projected? No, we'll project that on, I'm thinking. Okay. Oh, actually, I can have one timer for the base, for the uh, for the landing. That can be the timer that triggers Bob to get rid of all this pink stuff. And that way it can d destroy the timer that triggered itself as well. There's okay. a certain Sounds elegance good. to that. <laughs> Do I need a timer for the uh, for the other prog block here? Or is it a case now that it can run itself that we don't need a timer at all? What prog are you running on there? I was just leaving room. Nor most programs run will run script. themselves these days. Well, Jam, one of the suggestions we have had um, has been to build something that is like a core of a ship that's designed to just use Bob to build onto itself uh, whatever you want it to be at any given time, but then break it down afterwards. So for a bit, it's a fighter, and then it tears itself apart and builds itself back into a freighter or back into a miner or whatever. Uh, what's this? Bob on... Unfortunately, there's no conditional stuff like that, Tenebrous, not in the default scripting. I would have to go and learn how to script again. Right, so we still need some ions down. Doing, not doing Bob on the top, where it's where it'll be uh, central. I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to keep the profile as as low as we can. You think over two blocks like that's just too far? It'll just shift how far we can weld away by having Bob. The, the thing is that if if we don't do that, then we could put like a connector on the top, and that would be the way that this self-deploying base is actually kind of carried on the ship, or or a way that you can like. But you could dock a, a sky crane to it. Couldn't we or, do it on the side? Or a drone. What, the, the connector? Yeah. Yeah, we, can, we totally can. Because I'm, I'm thinking you're whacking some parachutes on it as well. Like, stick the bob on the top, put the connector on the side, and just carry the entire thing sideways. <clears throat> okay. You, you're flying show me, which, show me what you're talking about, because I'm not following you. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking, so uh, let's turn the mirroring off quickly. I'm thinking we we flick these two around, uh, let's that off, and then we had just have the I have a connector on the bars, like that. Yeah, and then you just have the connector on. Well, I guess this side would be the one that made sense, opposite to where your cockpit is. And I'm thinking, well, yeah, whack a couple of parachutes either side there, so that any time you're in Atmo, you've got a lot of help auto-leveling and landing yourself. Mm -hmm. Are we using the Bob Assembler queue script? No, Stephen. In reality, the components tend to be lighter than taking the raw materials anyway. So I, I would be inclined 90% of the time to take components, not raw materials. I'm tempted to say though that we probably need this this entire assembly one block higher, so that. Well, okay. 
or like a hub maybe instead of that that one connector block you have the instead of the tube because then you can actually build sort of the distribution system for your base through the floor oh no but that there is that that's there it's in there oh it's just lower it, it, it's in there it's 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 two blocks out from the bottom of the cargo container if you look through here you can oh. just see the pipe where i've extended it down Okay. Uh, but it's it's in amongst all of the pink stuff that's going to get taken away. Yeah, I've I, I left ourselves a, under the pipe. No, I, I've left us a floor level in there, basically oh, a cool, gap cool. and then a floor level and then a conveyor junction block in in the floor, so that you could then expand off of that if you wanted. So where where, where are leveling legs going to be then? I wasn't planning on doing the leveling legs. Remember? I mean, not, but the landing gear. I was, gear, or I was just going to lock down a leg out the straight uh, straight out the bottom. Oh, like that, huh? Perhaps not that tall. That's quite high okay. off the ground. Uh, but yeah, yeah, straight out the bottom, one single leg. Okay. Bob has a connection point at the bottom. Uh, how far do Atmo connectors yeah. burn, or do they? I don't remember. Uh, they do. So, just... Try, I can't remember I'm, the length. I'm, I'm it's been wondering too long. if, well, it's five blocks for most thrusters. I just didn't know if it was that also for Atmo. So what about something more like that, this? You're attaching onto blocks we won't keep, though. I know, but I mean, if we if we changed enough to where we I, were I, keeping My blocks. concern was that was too low to the ground. Okay. Um. We need to do a test. This is not going to be enough thrust as well, Tex, in reality. Yeah, I think we're getting too big. And I don't know what the real answer is for that. But. No, it's not that we're getting too big, particularly. It's just that, in reality, I'm thinking more of the fact that we're going to be filled up. You've got a full cargo container in there to worry about. You've got to, have, you know, you've got to be able to land that massive cargo container still. probably need more downwards thrust regardless. All right. We've got a four button panel here that I actually think that we're this control module or the uh, the the cockpit can actually be ground down on its own after it after we land. We'll have a button panel to uh, to control the functions from. Now, this thing needs to be able to fly very, very easily in atmosphere. Do you want to give it a try? Okay. If it uh, can't, you, it's landing gear down. Of it? I have, yes. If it's landing gear down, then it is landing gear down. Don't forget to turn it off. But this thing should be able to take off with constant. Actually, it won't have the power for it, will it? What's powering it at the moment? Uh, one battery. <laughs> Well, I thought we'd start there and see what it does. Power overload, basically, is what it does. Yep. Uh, it is 82% hovering. It's not terrible. Uh, you want to slap another battery real quick? Just on the other side of where I've got that other one, maybe? Keep it balanced. I'd spin on the other side of the connector. Yeah, no, I see, I see. Yep, that works. You still throw overriding? Nope. That's like 80% if I'm moving in a couple different directions. So for now, unloaded, that's, uh, that's 
probably enough. Maybe a third battery if we're gonna... Oh, what? What happened? I may have deleted the wrong thing. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Thankfully. Do you have a copy? There's a copy right there. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, this he says, dramatically, rapidly. dramatically <laughs> taking, <laughs> rapidly taking another one, I should say. Let me go take a copy just down the safe side. Uh, I feel like we're creature creeping, but I don't have a good answer for that. Okay, how much do we weigh now? Let's see. We are already up to 165,000 grid mass. Yeah, that makes sense. All ships are heavy. I think you've got too many ions. I think I think we need to go much more minimalist. Take I think, off. I think I think take one off each direction. And take off and see how fast you can strafe side to side. Whether you can control it side to side in atmosphere. That's that's the deal, really. If we can do that, then we're fine. And don't forget, you would have the ability to turn them off independently. We can just group them up, so you wouldn't have them on unless you needed them. So. Ion thrusters. We're not landing on the moon. We're trying to make it a bit more universal than that. All right, Brody. How's it going, man? Hopefully, no army BSV of late. What did you miss? Uh, a, a, a blue screen and a lot of arming and ahhing. Think of the donation, though. You giving it a go? What are you doing? Uh, I'm making groups real quick. So I can toggle the ion thrusters on and off and, and see what see what that gains us. Well, it's just power, isn't it? Okay, so going up right now, 49%. Yeah, that's, that's fine. It's just... Uh, what, what we wanted to see was whether or not you actually could control yourself side to side with the ions well okay. enough. Oh, hello. Uh, it's coming from my face. No, it's 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 slowly. It's it's not big. You're not going to win any air races with this on the ions, but it's enough to give you some left and right. You see, I, I wouldn't want back. any less than that, man. Well, okay, yeah. I've, I've got to say, I wouldn't. We're gonna, just going to grind them down when we get there. So that's true. They're not wasting anything here. And that's with four, just four thrusters now. In each direction. Just four. There's only two in each direction as it stands. You mean just four thrusters in total? I, I just mean just four thrusters, yeah, side to side. And that's down to like 28% power usage. And it's still doing okay. Okay, so let's see. Let me let me drop this thing and then see if I can catch it the last second with just the internal dampeners. Mess incoming. Uh, almost. That was interesting. I I, I was I managed to remove the uh, landing gear real easily. Well, not only that, <laughs> but you managed to not deform the block that followed it at all. It's perfect. <laughs> Don't ask me. I can't repeat that. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> well, okay. tell you what, we can we can make the landing leg shorter at least. We can. How, how, how many blocks did you want it on? Uh, if you notice, there's now a clear area for it. Um, no. I, th I, I, th I think one up from that, perhaps. Uh, but yeah, there is also a question now. We need to test this thing with some cargo in it. Spawn. Yep. 
Why has Build Vision now suddenly started working? Yeah, I noticed that. It does all of a sudden. Out of nowhere, it's just like, ah, now you got Build Vision. <laughs> the hell? All right. That was definitely a suicide burn. That was al well, almost a suicide burn. All I still, la I still landed place. at about 20 meters per second. Okay, I'm going to take a copy of this. I'm going to see how long it takes it to stop at terminal velocity. Without, well, I mean, are we going to do it without, uh, without parachutes or with it with parachutes? Might as well keep Cause them. Because if, if you're in atmosphere, then you're always going to be landing with parachutes. And normally the places with atmosphere have more gravity, and thus the parachutes right. are helpful. The only place that it, the parachutes are not going to be handy for you are on the moon, in which case you're only going to be using ions anyway. Sort of the idea, rattlesnake sauge. Snake sausage. Sausag. <laughs> really? What? There's an interesting plan as well. Rattlesnakes. If, if we did it right, Tex, mm -hmm. we could, with using two different bobs and two different sets of colours, set things up so that actually all that got dropped from the ship was mm -hmm. a cargo container, a battery, and a projector. And then it builds the first this setup around itself, and then when it lands, it removes it again, and the other bob activates. Interesting. Okay. You know what I mean? So I, you drop absolutely nothing doing. out of the ship, except for the raw components. Bob builds the lander, and then when he lands, he takes the lander apart and starts building the base. Interesting. Okay. I, I see where you're We going can bring it back. We can bring it back. And do it in stages. But <laughs> we can bring it back to original, like, there's absolutely nothing here. Okay, so I've got one here that is absolutely and utterly loaded up with steel plates. Okay, well, I'm going to do a drop test with the, with the base model first. But yeah, I think you're right. Probably max capacity is where we need to be aiming. Why have I got access denied? I pasted this. Damn it. Okay, I'm going to start breaking at 1k. Incoming text file. Looks like you're alright. And yeah, it looks like it's gonna. You haven't got anything in here though. So. 500. So that takes about 500 meters empty to 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 drop stop. Let me try the same thing with the uh, parachutes. You fancy coming down and let, let me access this cockpit here as well at some point? That'd be great. Yeah, I could do that. <laughs> I don't know why it's decided I can't, but nope, not for the wasted. Uh, land it's on me. Shared with uh, with function, with faction. Shared with function. <laughs> yep. Ah, we don't have a function. Oh, you didn't remake the faction. Okay, and triggering parachutes in three, two, one. Oh, that's a lot faster. Yeah, parachutes will sort you out. Yeah, I, I don't even know that we need two, to be honest. I'd keep two, because you're not loaded up, remember. But we might be able to ditch a large number of the Atmo thrusters that are pointing downwards, just on the basis that anywhere with Atmo, your parachutes can help. Yeah, matter of fact, I think we could probably do with one Atmo, to be honest. Just enough to give yeah, us Yeah, but what's your side-to-side -side like at the moment? Or are the parachutes well, just going to pull you? Yeah, the, the parachutes yeah. are going to pendulum. Interesting. You know what? Uh, we didn't think about this, but the parachutes are basically auto-leveling me. Oh, yeah, we did. That's where we started. As I said, it was auto-leveling, but you can't control where you land, and therefore you could auto-level yourself onto the side of a mountain, and your entire base is built off of a cliff edge, held on by a single landing gear. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's why you kind of want the side-to-side -side control, if you can. But hey, we could hurtle in almost entirely out of control just with side-to-side -side motion until the last moment and hope that that yep. works. Okay, I'm in the faction, so it should be functioning for you now. Oh, yeah. Righty, then.
Yeah. So I now I need to remember what an actual realistic amount of cargo for a large cargo container to hold is. Because I don't actually know, but I suspect that six bill is that six no, six million kilograms may be a bit much. I don't um, know. Yeah, yeah, it might be. Uh, well, let's see. I was trying to look it up earlier. I know a small one was like what sixteen thousand kilograms or liters. Don't chat. Hit me up. My proposal: build initial bob with just what it needs to land, then drop pink cargo packages with the rest okay, of the needed so components. Okay, so according to the wiki, it is forty-two, basically forty-two thousand liters capacity. At one X. Okay, so at one X with forty two thousand. So at ten X, four hundred thousand. Although, to be fair, the way they do it is the weight calculation doesn't change either. What X is the default? Is it two? Uh, I would I would set it up for one. So that this will work for whoever, whatever capacity they're running. The no, it, what matters is what X we're on, because it scales the weight based upon what X you're on. Uh, let's see. We can just look at your inventory. Uh, my inventory right now is... Infinite, because you're in creative. Oh. I don't know what you set up this world to be. Uh, so what's that going to be? This is going to be more like... What that? Oh, like 15,000. Oh, almost close. Almost spot on. So, yeah, 14,000 14, plates, give or take. Pretty straightforward. I don't think that one has a parachute group set up. Nope. Doesn't need it. Default is three X. What? Default is three X. I don't remember three X being one of the options. I always thought it was two, but. Uh -huh. I am almost certainly wrong. Oh, build vision all of a sudden popped on for me. What? Yeah, it keeps coming and going. I don't understand why. Apparently build vision's a bit broken at the moment, basically. Batteries are a problem. Okay, so this, I mean, technically seems to fly. That is in the cargo system, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so oxygen. going with your two bob idea, how do you feel about this? I wasn't going to try that now. I was going to try and get something modular base working immediately, and then you could always add the second bob idea first, later, because it's only to the first section. But that actually might solve our, 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 our size problems, because what if, what if when you're going in through atmosphere, you either trigger the projection, you either trigger the projector that has the Atmo landing package or the ION landing package. You're not going to save that much space because in the end it's just ions that are sideways. And you're not losing any resources because you're grinding them down when you get there. But we, we've got downward firing ions, right? Yeah, I know, but that's what I'm saying. Those are the only ones you could get rid of. So yeah, technically we could do it, but I don't think it's worth it now for the sake of six thrusters, when in reality the next thing to do is take this, strip all of the pink things off of it, and build a, the first core section of the module that it's going to build when it lands, you know? Yep. Okay, so testing so, so fully loaded. It looks like it's taking three... Like it, it stopped at 347 meters, so... So about 650 meters stopping distance. 
That's total without parachutes, mind mm -hmm. you. Yeah, because the, the, the pick section we've got attached to this can always be updated later. That's true. So I'd be inclined to say, you know, is yours any different to this one? Uh, I put in, I've, I've, this one had my group, so I just put in 14,000. All right, right, I'll wait until you get down. Need to get a uh, main base module set up now. Oop. And I'm just, I'm going to see how long it takes to stop with the parachutes fully loaded. Like 0.5 of a second. Yep, probably not long. Matter of fact, I'm going to go get the. I'm going to drop, wait until 500 meters to pop them. So, TS Gimbal, the way these are going to work in comparison to Creative is as long as you know the survival amounts, like weight and thrust calculations and all that stuff are still correct. What's not correct is power calculations and the fact that you can overload containers, you can overload your inventory, you can use parachutes multiple times. Like there are a few things that you've got to take into account when you're doing like creative mode testing of survival mode designs, but a lot of them do work, and a lot of the functions you need to test, like for example this stopping distance stuff and so on, as long as we wait, we've loaded ourselves up correctly, that stuff all works. Yeah, pretty much the parachutes stop you immediately at yeah. this altitude, no matter what the load is. Mm -hmm. But we probably actually only need. Uh, the twin parachutes help us to achieve a uh, center of gravity so it stabilizes. The only other place you could, if you wanted a single parachute, it would have to be where that build and repair is. Yeah, I think we could, I think we could go down to like a sink, four, maybe four Atmo thrusters if we're using parachutes. Just enough to be able to hover it. Just but again, right. it, I think it doesn't we'll, really we'll make much We'll worry about difference. that later, I think. Mm -hmm. But now we build the base that we'd build off of this. So, yeah, we take this. Why is the landing gear pink? We do not want a pink landing gear. <laughs> we need that in one piece. Okay. And what else goes? I guess the parachute blocks would go. What are we going to call this? Bob's base in a box. Bobiab? That's no good. Bobiab? Uh, we could call it a Bob. Build own base. No, that's just confusing. You could drop a warhead on the landing site before you land to aid in base leveling, or just dig a massive hole for you to go and build the base in. <laughs> well, there's a, there's an idea. We come in peace, shoot to kill. <laughs> We're gonna call it Bobiab. Bobiab. Boab. Brother of all bases. Uh, okay, so blueprinting you. Ah, do you know what it doesn't have? It doesn't have the timer block? It have, have, well. No, it does have the timer block. It doesn't have a projector. Oh, no, it doesn't. Uh, I had one, and I guess I got it. It's got four timer blocks, so at least one of those can get, be got rid of. Yeah. Let's see. How about a projector there? I got one down. We only, we only need one on this base section because that projector is in itself also going to get removed. Although, I say removed, it's we can't paint it pink. We need it intact. So I actually have to put this somewhere where it can it can remain. Uh, uh, that looks put, good, Tex. Can, no, we, that, can that we put it fun. underneath? You can we put it underneath um, where it's actually in the floor? No, because it's not air sealed. Ah, Okay. So oh, I, I see you've got button panels down there. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got, got button panels in that spot. So that each each button panel down there will represent that side's build options. So we have the four <laughs> button panels around each one, and we have each one represent a... Oh, that's good, Moldark. Bob's drop a ride. Call it Bob's drop a ride. <laughs> yeah, you can do that a lot better than I can. Got the right accent. <laughs> yeah. Wasted that as a warhead. No, it's not a warhead. Back there. I might have been putting warheads on, but I got rid of them again. Yeah, I probably have been putting warheads around the place. Why not? Can we... Uh, Why not? You, can we get any lower? I, I mean, or do we need to get lower? Oh, we can. The um, landing gear's pointing the wrong way as well. Oh, okay. That'll work. Uh, take there, her off a sec? Up. Yep, take her off.
Ping. Okay. I don't think we want to be any lower than that because that will keep us clear of ground obstacles. Okay. Oh, it has got way too much gyro power, though. It's only got two. Don't forget it's not yeah. full, is it? Did, did, did you wedge it? No, this one's full. It's only got two. But, um, it could be turned down. I don't want to imbalance the center of gravity is the thing. Okay, well, let me turn them down. Oh, like... I'll, I'll tweak them. I'll tweak them. You tweaked. Okay. You tweaked. Is it a bit better? Uh, it's, it's a bit okay. better. We, no, we're do, more... we can even go less than that, to be honest. Try, uh, try like 30%. Juroscope, uh, everyone's friend. Done. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's still enough without being too twitchy. Still plenty. Here, you want you want to fly it a little bit? See what, see if you got it like like where it's at. Yeah, that's good. A little bit floaty. But that'll yeah. be because of where the uh, cockpit's positioned. Like the fact that you're uh, up we, above such a heavy weight. We could put the cockpit nah. lower, to be honest. It's all good. It's all good. It doesn't matter. It don't matter, bro. Cool. I, uh, I think that's all right. It's, it, yeah, it's ugly as sin, guys. That's because it's supposed oh, to be temporary. It's absolutely supposed to be ugly. I mean, what do you want? I, I can I can cover it in pink temporary armor blocks if you want. We can gribble it. <laughs> gribble it hard. <laughs> It's not going to make it any prettier because there's still going to be pink armor blocks, so it's still going to look stupid as all hell. Oh, oh uh, yeah, it's just. I I I don't know that that's better. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need your input text far. I I'm just saying. You are you are indeed uh, polishing a turd at this point. And we need to demonstrate that it's always possible to make it look better somehow. Somehow, text far, you can fix it. Oh, just alternate them angles. Find some random ones. That's all you need. Oh, that, that is a truly offensive amount of pink. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that's what we're fighting against. Is like In the end, it is still pink. So there's only so much you can do with it. There you go, much better. You see, now it's drop pod. I can put some, put some pink down here too. Because all we're doing here is carrying construction components in their prefabricated form. <laughs> Base and an egg. There you go. We've made a giant pink egg-shaped object. It'll be perfect. Just in time for next year's Easter. <laughs> We've made an alien egg landing craft. <laughs> okay, with oh, one last test. One last and don't test. Don't forget that we need to paint the uh, cockpit. Ooh, two last tests. Uh, do we want? To, we, uh, we probably don't want to sensor activate this, do we? We want to have a bit more control than that. Okay, one no, last I test. No, I think then. I think in the landing model, it shouldn't be automatic. Yeah. Okay, in which case. So, uh, yeah. Give me a sec. No, it does not have to be pink, guys. It's it's you can you can set up the build and repair to any color. It just so happens <laughs> that we defaulted to pink. The worst worst. I actually think that it's probably this is a, a legitimate hashtag blame text because I was trying to come up with the most offensively pink color that I would never use in an actual build without thinking that we'd be using it in every stream at that point later. <laughs> 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 uh, 
And then at some point, the mod author decided that that color pink was perfect or, or close to it. He's off by a couple of values from ours, but. All right, text man. Yes. I'm gonna do Can me a. Uh... the projector on it? No, no, because we don't have any um, projection to put in it yet, do we? <laughs> um, oh, that's true. Yeah, I, I was I was gonna get you to maybe test bringing that into land and hit hit the uh, timer for Bob. Not that one. Well, either one, to be honest. The floating one would be the one I suggest because it's not locked to the ground. Okay. So that should have a uh, an action button now. A timer. Let's see. See it so land and strip itself down. Start and That's it. set it to start, not trigger now. I'm assuming. Probably have a timer on it. Either way, doesn't okay. matter at this point. Will later. Okay. Not the quickest. No, not at, not at starting off. That one's the loaded turns up out, one. Turns right? out we added a whole bunch of armor to it just now. That yeah, but that one's the loaded up one as well, right? Uh, you... yes. Okay. <laughs> as long as we're not doing tests here where like that's an empty one and it now can barely fly, we're all good. No, that, that is, is indeed fully laden. Oh, pretty shot. And as Tex entered in the Pink Peril landing craft, the Egg of Doom, They stopped you from being able to change look sensitivity with control mouse wheel. Of course it does. Oh, no, no, they haven't. I'm just as an engineer and yeah. OK, we ready to do this? All right, incoming. Incoming takes fire. Oh dear. Nope. Oh. Well. Might want to set the parachutes survived. to trigger a little bit, uh, <laughs> a little bit earlier than that one. The pan was good. Nice and smooth. <laughs> I hear with my uh, Manfro video head. Getting it done, but nah. Wasn't wasn't ideal, if I'm honest. Um, okay. Small matter of piloting. How about that? Let's set those. Uh, I, I, I kind of want to set the parachutes to auto deploy. So let's set them. You can set the height, though. Like 100 yeah, meters. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was going to do. Well, I, that was like 200 meters. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe a bit more than that, then. So maybe like 250. Yeah, yeah. Sounds about right. The top half of it landed. Indeed. The, the cockpit survived. <laughs> yeah, but that cockpit's pink. That's one of the bits we're getting rid of. <laughs> we need the landing gear to survive. Congratulations, Wesley. You've constructed an expensive and ineffective cruise missile. Yes. Perfect. X-fired missile. In reality, this is the, the top engineer show. In its true, <laughs> in its true reality. <laughs> If by top you mean... As you Wasted mean Clarkson and Tex May attempt to build something stupid. <laughs> this week, Tex crashes in lock drop pod and Wasted watches. And goes, I need more power. Okay. Pink igloo maker. <laughs> You did just leave your brains there. You ready to drop? Yep, ready to drop. Do it. I, I, Clang has the controls. I'm completely hands off on this. They're either going to auto deploy or they're not. It's going to hit me. Oh, 70 meters. Gentle. It, I, we don't even need the thrusters.
Right, now turn on the Bob. Get the timer. Bob on. Oh, Bob is on. Is he doing anything? We, we, we think. I don't know. I, I hit the start. Oh, you hit the start. It's going to take 10 seconds then. And go. Any uh, it's time not starting. Okay. I will start it. There we go. I had the trigger now. Okay, the problem here is Bob is not eating the correct blueprint. <laughs> Bob is eating some other blueprint over there. <laughs> In our okay. forest of weird pink contraptions. Okay, Bob. I'm going to go and paste a new version of this way outside of Bob's range over <laughs> here, I think. <laughs> Oh, here's what we need to do. Uh, th this could be a legitimate problem, so what we need to do is we need to set that build. Adjust the to... range, you say? No. No, we just set it to we just set it to walk. I've got walk it. Mode. I've got it set to near walk mode. Will work, yeah. Fair yeah, point. Just walk. Just walk mode. Go on then. Okay. Now. Uh, yeah, starting on that timer is not working. That's weird. <laughs> So let me set it to trigger now instead and see if that does it. You might nope. not have ownership. Oh, let me have a look. Timer block. Set up actions. Oh, because it's not, it didn't save it. You, well, no, it's Bob Starr is the timer block you're looking for. Uh, that's where I'm at, yeah. It's in there for me. Build and repair system three. Toggle block on. I'm start. Set up actions. I've started the timer. Yeah. Not running. On my screen. What have they done? Oh, it's running. Well, I just triggered it now. Oh, you're on the wrong Bob. <laughs> Which Bob am I supposed to be on? This was the one you landed, I think. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. But apparently I am wrong. I am looking at the wrong one. Yeah, okay. It's doing the job, though, so that's fine. Yeah. Honestly, for the lander model, you don't even need to have the timer. You just need to have Bob on the on the mm -hmm. toolbar and just turn it on. I tried Izzy's altitude trigger scripts. No, I haven't. Interesting. I can see some weaponry focused applications for such a thing. Mm -hmm. A Lotus that only fires at a certain altitude, you say? So yeah, we could actually lose the timer completely for this application. It's not the bad to keep it in. Uh, it's because it was going to start something else. Once Bob was done, it was going to start another timer, and I was going to time the duration it took Bob to take it apart, and then have the the building of the base automated. Which, was the which is honestly a good argument for not putting the uh, the armor box on that because it's it's grinding them first. Yeah, but people were complaining it was ugly. And now they're going to complain it takes too long to grind stuff down. Well, yeah, it does. People are never happy. True. Yeah, there you go. Damn, this is slow. <laughs> it's already begun. Well, yes, it is slow. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. So that one's set to walk, right? Uh, yeah, this one's set to walk. Okay, so this just means I can paste a fresh version in nearby for us to stretch the... Uh, or strip the stuff off. Oh, no, that's not a fresh version. That's a half-ground-down version. Over there is my fresh version. Come on, Wasted. Middle of the screen. Hey! Bad. There you go. We can strip all the pink stuff off it, basically. Start building ourselves the uh, 
the actual mob main platform, you know, the, the hub. I want I want to time how long it takes for it to strip off all the stuff on this other one. Well, we can do that at the same time. Yep. Okay, so this one is just... Okay, I fucked up. I, I had, no, I've got mirroring on, and apparently it's, it's mirrored, but not in a way where you can just remove blocks from both sides, because if you do, some stuff drops off. I can, I can remove the armor blocks with the mirroring. That's fine. And Bob, apparently. Good job, boys, did. Third time's a charm, right? <sighs> Not doing well, Tex. Can you help? Um, sure. What are you trying to do? Not delete blocks that I don't mean to. I'm trying to get rid of the pink stuff on it. Uh, just take a copy of the one I just did. I removed all the armor blocks off of it. No, I'm trying to get rid of all the pink stuff so we can start building the... the module. Okay, which one Like, like the, the, the final version, you know, of what it's going to okay. build itself into. Not using mirroring is the answer for this. Hmm. I'm going to be careful now because I'm starting to remove blocks that are also the blocks you're removing. And that is going to result in one of us. All right, so some of the control panels fall. That's worth knowing about. Yep. Okay, we we have all we need, to be honest, with those two. Yeah, I know. I was just... Okay, so this is this is what we end up with once we've removed all of the... All of the crap from the lander. Well, this looks relatively easy to expand. We just... What sort of width are we looking at? What do you reckon? Uh, what we're currently at? No, 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 no. I mean, how like wide do we want to go? How wide do we want to go? Yeah. Is what I was thinking. Now extend these cargo bits out so that these become a constant, like flooring that runs through. Uh, I don't know. I hadn't. I hadn't really thought about that. How big do we want our main section? You know. Yeah. Uh, I would still say. Bob's like got small... lots of range, but I don't think we want yeah. it too massive, right? No, I think I think we want it as small as we can. But big enough that you can still fit like airlocks on the outside, basically. What's that? Six, six. Yeah, that works. So then we could door make that the maximum size of this. Doesn't necessarily have to have such a big an internal area. That's just where the four connection points are for the like the rest of it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you have doors on top of there, and that's where we build our. Or maybe, in fact, we should we should build a bit of corridor into each blueprint. I reckon that way we intrinsically in the blueprints we build like some connecting links to, between them as well. So if you make like mm -hmm. that the outside edge, and then every every blueprint beyond that also has one block spacing, you've got little corridors that link everything. Yeah, Bob's does. Bob does have some decent internal storage. We didn't test with that, but that we don't have to load it up. To be fair, it's not required to load Bob up. Yeah, that that's an interesting other question. Though. You, could you actually build like just with a Bob? Or just drop Bob. Yeah, just drop a Bob with enough. No, because you can't attach to anything. You'd need to drop. You'd need to be Bob with a landing gear. And maybe a parachute. Well, Bob or, landing gear parachute. You could make this tiny little block. It'd be hilarious. I'm just, I'm just saying, like Bob, a projector, and like a timer, and have him build his landing craft as he's falling. Yeah, you see, through, th this through. is this is all slowly increasing in scale because he needs power as well. No, oh, that's true. You know what I mean? It's like it doesn't take very long before, in fact, this isn't just a single block or three blocks. It's like ten blocks. 
Oh no, there's an interesting suggestion. Do a do a s array of bobs instead of the instead of the box. central cargo box. That's an interesting you, idea, yeah. Because then you multiply like it, your 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 build speed as well as the capacity yeah. as you're building on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Good cool, good cool. I like it. That of course that requires like a basic complete redesign, but uh Yeah, but the way this is working, you could keep the uh no, it doesn't require a complete redesign. Because you could essentially keep this same size pattern that we're building here. Mm -hmm. uh, and therefore, all the only bit you'd have to really redesign is the central section, because the, the second blueprint could still wrap around it. You know? That's true. Uh, I think we've actually reached our minimum size. We could actually be a lot smaller if we wanted to. Yeah, but we want to... There needs to be some stuff in this room. Okay. So it's our central hub. This is the, the very middle location, you know. Might as okay. well make some use of it. We're not limited as far as how much we can build here. Like some sort of windowed central section, bit of observation and so on. Because mm -hmm. this is literally going to end up being the central hub, isn't it? It's, it's going to be the, the middle point of the whole station in the end. Yep. Shouldn't need merge box for this because it's all being projector printed. So you can take it apart and put it together as you wish. Uh, do we need both button panels? Because I'd kind of like to. No. It's, yeah, we've got plenty of room in here as well, so let's use okay, elsewhere. About set it up to be sort of multiplayer friendly. I like that. We have the main central room being a little bit of a sort of med bay come. Uh, cryopods, etc. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually almost. I think I'm accidentally kind of mirroring like Rage's like dr eco drop pods. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ramses. We'll get on that. We'll get on that. I can add some pistons somewhere. We'll find a spot. You're good. size are we looking at? I, I suppose the size doesn't matter. Uh, or, or it does to some extent. We need to keep stuff within the same pattern or multiples of the same pattern. So you can be like mm -hmm. okay we've got this extra large room but this extra large room takes up exactly four times the space of a normal room and therefore you can continue to expand it in the same network. Well, let's just see if this is sort of basic. Now there's a really but cool idea as well from Stay Out of My House. Make each pod of the base a unique color so that, that way when it comes to dismantling it you can make the bob in that base set up for you know what i mean we would almost need a bob for each module which is doable not necessarily you need a bob for each module it's just that way you've got the option to configure it and go hey delete the yellow one mm -hmm. which is the science module so you can replace them or whatever uh, remember these um, little extra arm bits that we're building? I see you've got a bit of greevels on there. Are going to hook up to another bit that's the same. Mm -hmm. So rather than coming down to a point like that, maybe go into the whatever it is. These things. The half slopes. That's what I was, on, I was, on the so basis. So that what, was, about, what about something like that? And yeah, the, but the, it did, the next module just clicks right on the end of it. Come, come have a look at this where I am now. If you oh, build okay. it, if you yep. build it like this, it'll, it'll actually like continue through an air seal a bit. If you know what I mean, I'm always concerned where you get. I know that will air seal, but it always like I don't know <laughs> makes me feel slightly awkward about it. Uh, 
Timberboy? We can think about some extra landing gear, maybe built on pistons or something, so that we can adjust their height, because the ground isn't necessarily... I mean, we happen to be in about the flattest space you can find in Space Engineers. That's why, mm -hmm. I, that's why I came here. Uh, it's one of the things I enjoyed about Group Survivors. Like, building here is actually awesome, because it's so flat. Uh, and, and you also get those awesome sunsets. Look at that. You, you could almost sort of have it, you know, like if have have you can have unlock these, and let it settle, of course. Well, well and, and have one of these where it's like, OK, so now we're, we're you're landing in the hills. So load the model that has like the long legs that you can project onto it. You could do, but then you're starting to get with a bit of a projector set up nightmare. That's something you could do in the long term. Yeah. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to start the design working on that basis. Let's put it that way. Okay, so we're gonna kind of. This looks like this is not gonna be a particularly tall internal area, but the layout that we've got so far. The only way to continue that angle is with a block that takes up internal space. Yeah, it would either be like kind of like. This. Yeah, it, it, it'd have to be. It'd be nice to get a bit of in internals. Actually, I think that would look about, quite about, nice on the like inside. This? No, no, do, do, do what you just did. Let me um, like place these blocks down like we're going to follow this angle. Oh, not correct way to again. So as if we're going to follow that angle. And then on the inside, that does give you enough room to then inverse the angle and have a ceiling that comes up towards the center. Yeah, no, I like that. And I actually think that could be quite fun for this internal area, you know? It, it shouldn't be roomy inside. This is this is a, a basic core. Central hub, and then you can have much larger sort of- Yeah, you can have much blocks. larger other buildings that build off it. I still think that's gonna give quite a cool, uh, quite a cool view though. I mean, especially where we are now. Yeah, I like it. Did I get the orientation right on this? I think I did. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, do you want to complete the corners? Yeah, you, you did. Oh yeah, that looks cool. That, that works. That works for me. So let me see if I can put some lighting in here. It's the only other thing I think it needs. To be fair, though, we could add some stuff on the bottom as well. The one place we've overlooked here. There's nothing to stop us from building more stuff onto the bottom of it, too. That's true. Get it up, he is. Thermal is not connected to any ship. What? Is it not now? No ships at all. Mm -hmm. It was lying. Are you sure, Space Engineers? I'm not convinced that's the case. <laughs> Will this be included in the Musa DLC package? Yeah, I think we can do that. I need to release that eventually. I have been slack. Alright, this is looking alright. Let's get in here. Oh my god. Get inside. Yeah, yeah I'm digging the interior. Works. Give me just one second, man. And chat. Bear with me. Apparently my car alarm is going off. Oh, 
Oops. There we go. A little internal lighting. It's a chat, and maybe even the VOD as well. If you wanna. Stick a comment down, join in too, why not? What do you think it was that set my car alarm off? What could it be? What possibly could it be? Oh, Brody Danley. Uh, that's not even a question for me, but thank you. Mr. Fire? Yes? Has the Sunday world been updated? Sunday world been updated. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you go, if you go to Shaq's workshop, you'll find the latest save from the end of the last episode. Okay, so everything. Unless you're asking another question that I don't know the end, that I I don't know anything about. Okay, do we want to add like another set of doors that are going to be built on, so that we've got a like an airlock arrangement on each side? No, I think the next pod does that. Okay. You know, the, the next pod has the other half of the door set up. So that when you build it on, that's where you get the airlock. Uh, we were yeah, also, I'm... we've forgotten the projectors for this. Now... Oh, I, um, I had a projector, did you remove it? No, no, we need one for each direction. Oh, yep. Am I putting warheads down again? I might be. Oh, that's... No, it was projectors this time. Getting better. Now, do we need to have... I think we need to have each of these rotated, though, to where they're facing forward towards each arm. Right? So that it's independent of the orientation of which block it's loaded in. No? Um, okay. Because because if we do forward this way, hang on. Shit. Yep. Hang on. Yeah, I'm thinking off of the first building. We don't give mm -hmm. any choices. Okay. Off of the central hub, we don't give choices because there's some things the base is going to need first. Like a solar place, a power place, you know. Yep. Right. Well, the I'm solar gonna... array can actually be built off on the top of this. Not easily. We haven't left ourselves much of a, a space for it. And don't forget, we can't use rotors because Bob won't be able to build those properly. Okay, so she is 13 by 13, by the looks of things. Yep. 
So the profile we have to build in Mr. Texfar is 13 by 13. Okay. What are you doing? Might as well put some on there, I guess. It's starting to look a little silly. <clears throat> like if you back away, it thing. looks like a dunce hat. I'm just saying. <laughs> Maybe I'll let Let's see. Need to vary let up let that me, angle let, or something. Let me, let, me, let me finish doodling first, and then we can clean it up and see if it oh, right. works. No, I'm going to work on another uh, section then. Drop off its head. You should definitely still be waiting on me to upload the, the, the Brattler, guys. Okay, next up. What are we going to want? Those are holding this together. Yes. Also, my mirroring is broken. Oh. So we're going to go with fixed, right, on these panels. We're not going to try and rotate them around. Well, no, because we won't be able to build them. Or Bob, Bob won't be able to build multi-part oh, panels like that. separate grids again, yeah. damn it. Yeah, indeed. It, uh, that's not even an option for us, unfortunately, Mr. Texfar. Okay, well, you'll just have to land with the uh, with the, the direction of the sun in mind. Six, Reason that the other pods have to even be vaguely similar. They have to fit in the same space. So let's do something else. Okay, what do you think? Yay or nay? You're right, I think it's getting too big, but too tall. Um. Just lower them down if you can. Let's say, just what about something like, like that? Try not to get overly complicated yeah, here. Yeah, I think that's that's almost a better choice than what you've got already. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, that's okay. That's that's what doodling is all about. Try stuff and see if you hate it. something with like a oh yay angles that don't exist huzzah that's what I was after those angles it's like that one plus that one neither of which exist does that frust you, frustrate you equally Texma yes does it Gets my knickers in a twist. The, the amount of time you spend just going, oh, yes, now I remember. Yep. Oop. Hmm. Johnny Dyson, I think I'm planning a more complex projector set up for the other pieces that way you have the opportunity to choose a bit what you build in each segment rather than being pigeonholed into one setup each time you build this base which is why i've removed those central ones because i think they'll own, th these ones are good for this central portion where it's just like no you will be build, build these next sections around this but from then on out allow people to have some modularity to it 
speaking of which, as such, it would probably help for me to... How far out are we? One more. So... Okay, that's that's not too hard. On the roof or on the bottom? I think on the bottom makes more sense. Out of the way that way. It's fun when you completely screw up what you're doing with mirroring. Like, well, we're got blocks, mirroring on, but locks that actually can't be mirrored. That's that's the other fun one. Yeah, messing around with like, uh, what is it? The um, catwalks recently have been a right pain in the ass. Catwalks and the modular thrusters. Okay, there we go. Here's an arrangement where you're going to have solar power whatever direction the sun is actually rising and setting. It doesn't lose that industrial feel. Yeah, I like that. a conveyor level that was planned and that I've not been paying any attention to in this. I managed to remove that conveyor as I was building. It's there. around that, can I? All right. Okay. So take a gander real quick. See what, see what I got going here. See if you like it or not. Okay. We can always remove these purely, purely sub, sub, Superfluous armor blocks. Matter of fact, I, I think I like it better without the armor blocks on top. I think like I'm with you. Yeah, they, they don't really they don't really fit around the uh, large cargo container properly. It looks like there should be holes in them, even though there isn't. You know. can't fold stuff, unfortunately, guys. As much as we'd like to, um, it won't get printed by Bob. Bob can't handle multiple grids like that. Like, projections can't handle multiple grids like that. So, it, it's not an option. Might as well do the nuclear reactor cargo network up and down, right? We've got the other network going side to side. Okay. 
Done. It's got the doors in as well. I'm gonna walk away and leave it alone. <laughs> yeah, we need to at least be able to do a bit of a test tonight. Go and land her down and build a few modules. Okay, so uh, do you want to take there? I'll, I'll start naming. So, like this one needs to be named. Oh, you've already got it. Bob Starter. Oh uh, no, Bob Starter was the name of the bit before that. Don't call it Bob Starter again. Call it something else. Bob Starter oh. is the pink bit. I can't actually change the grid name, though. Oh, am I going to have to come and do that? Or what? Yeah, I think you're going to have to do that. I don't know. Permissions. Fair enough. Okay, so besides the reactor module, what else do we need? What else do you need in the basic base? Some kind of production module, right? We need a production, like, assembler one, and maybe, like, a cargo one. Given the main hub has got the med bays and so on. We may have limited ourselves a bit here, honestly. We may mm -hmm. have not gone big enough with that central section, or we may need to start thinking about the idea of doing things in like double scale quite quickly. I bet say I, I don't need that. The I don't think that the outside um, rooms actually need to be the same floor plan as the central hub. They, yeah, but they need they to fit together still. Be. They but they can be wider and still not bump into each yeah, other. Yeah, I'm I'm already doing that. I'm just saying. It's still not that much room. Oh, you gotta love it when space engineers in built mirroring are still broken. You can have a hallway section to just uh, make links larger sections together. Yeah, so you can have a 13 slot, same size as we've got hallway section to just expand things out. I like that idea, Jam. Ah, okay. So you're like going just like a grid of yeah. 13. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, use that 13 multiplier that we've got. Everything's in that grid. That way it always connects. You know, every bit can always be built connected up to the other bit. You just need to use the various tools you've been given to make it function, you know? I'm inclined to make this one really funky. right place on this plane at least. What's not going on with the other one? Yeah, this is in the right place as well. I 
Okay, so we need like some multi-floor, multi-catwork level room in here, for sure. And my friend. do with this I guess just have it go around the outside of the room basically and stick some extra stuff up here although I could also there's nothing preventing me from doing a fairly sizable like upstairs floor here as well got the room Rotation bingo, you know, like when you can never seem to find the key that actually rotates the direction you want to go? Normally, it's because you're looking at it at like a bit skew if you're at an angle. And it means that actually sometimes two of the keys do the same thing when you're like that. And you, you're legit just missing one of the directions. It may well not do, Zona, but the one container has enough to get you started, and you'll be able to build some of these rooms at least. In the end, it's yeah. an infinitely expanding concept, so you can... Yeah, it's kind of why I, on this production module here, what I'm actually doing is I'm, I, I put in two refineries, and I also put in two arc furnaces and four assemblers so that you can... You can scale it as you get the parts. If, if, if it doesn't have the parts, it's just not going to build them. Mm -hmm. Mirroring does work for these. So are we putting bobs on each module that we build? So it's sort of an exponential? Uh. I, no, I don't think we need to. I think we can build like cargo plus bob modules, to be fair. You feel like one bob is going to be awful slow. So maybe on the central hub, maybe we need to have additional bobs that it builds. What do you think? Like maybe right there. And we have like a, a bob content like module you just add on when you want standing out this area i mean just one bob has crazy rank i'm just thinking from a from a time to build yeah true I just make take, take a peek take a peek at some point where I'm yeah no, I, I, I can see kind of cool though look like like little electrical insulator modules yeah that works Oops. 
So my options in here, if I want to keep it purely power, would be to go battery storage or just lots of solar generation. Which is a shame, because that makes a bit of a waste of this space. <laughs> Plenty of room to hang stuff from the ceiling in here, for example, but... Well, it looks kind of cool, so whatever. I don't care. Which means I don't really need that. Nice flat roof for solar. So you're still working on assembly? Mm-hmm. Kind of boring right now. I mean, it's it's got all the functional bits it needs. Get the functional bits done. That that's all we need, Tex. Get the functional bits done. Wrap it up as a blueprint. Build the next bit, and that way we can actually potentially finish off a print itself base this evening, rather than not. Well, I mean, do do we not even want to worry about like enclosing each of these in then? Yeah, and close them. But I'm just thinking, don't don't spend too long on worrying about each individual odd being a little bit boring. When in reality, I'd like to see the concept work first. Oh, how can they still not have the mirroring for some of the blocks working properly? How long has it been? Uh, hmm. What makes you think it's a priority? Apparently not. They've only just added the 1x2 window, and I realise. Just repeat that, shall we? Just one more time. Fail.
Right. Slightly lazy mode, but whatever. Gives me loads of space, but not a bounce. Yeah, that's a certain look. Well, folks here at Bob's Bis Discount B Base Emporium, you get one color. Saves you on the long run. The question here is, is directly flat, uh, flat solar panels more efficient than upright solar panels or vice versa? Which way around does it work? No, I don't know that. Pretty place we've pulled up here. Turn on mirroring, that would probably help with these repetitive blocks that I'm going to place on all four sides. Nah, don't worry about that. But if they're upright, they only get peak power at certain times as well. That's 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 the the difficulty is. Like. But if they're upright, they do benefit if you get um, scenarios like where we are now, where you're quite like far hemisphere. Okay, so this uh, power efficiency modules by default. Yeah, I think so. On on the uh, on the assemblers, and then yield and a mix of yield and power on the refineries. I would just go for yield on the refineries. I'm not. I'm not convinced on power. One of the sides isn't finished. Aha! Uh -huh. Thank God. Having to turn mirroring off for the windows is letting me down. Nah, that's not right either, is it? I'm having to turn it off for the modules over here because. That's right. There we go. Okay, back to solar panels. Jigsaw. <laughs> A bad jigsaw because they don't fit. The pieces don't fit in this jigsaw. I don't think they are airtight though, Havictus. What about oxygen farms so you can have it on the alien planet? Well, that's one we can have in another another quarters because this one is more about... Oh, that's not right. This one's about all about power. Choose your buildings and whatnot. Okay, 
That should be alright. Bob. Main power. Blueprint of that. And how's it going with you, Tex? Oh, that's going alright. I think the refinery module's almost done. I just need to add Cool. I'm gonna go and queue up one of the projectors in this. Make sure Bob is off. But yeah, queue up one of the projectors in this to actually like build the thing. Sounds like a plan. Bob, be off. Ye be off. Good. All right then. Projector ten. Remember, once these sections are... Oh, no, I need to turn this projector off quickly. Need a... Oh, I've got a blueprint of the hub. All right, all right. Probably need another one of it eventually with it loaded already with these things and with them turned off so it doesn't automatically build them when you land. Projector, which one am I using? I'm using one of them. Or I am using Projector 10. No, doing it all the wrong ways. Cool. Looks good. Projector 10 no longer. No, no, no. And building is loaded, Tex. Nice. Okay. Uh, Are you gribbling? I no. I just finished putting the lights. So the only thing that would be left would be. That's a like bit a, like gribbling. No, it's not. It's totally functional. I did. I missed projectors on this. Good point. Good point. Are we putting projector on each uh, in each module? Yeah, because they need to be able to project on their their next section. Hmm, okay, and where were we putting those? Putting those, okay. Um, somewhere on the bottom. Uh, I can't think of any reason why we wouldn't just put them in the standard location for every module. Because we want more than just one for every other module on each side. Okay. We can always go and add these later, to be honest, once we have the blueprints. It'll take a bit of blueprint updating, but right now I'm concerned that you add these on and then they're untrackable as to which projector is which. You're better off adding them on once you've got blueprints for them. And naming them. Oh, I have four projectors on there already, and I? I have one for each, each, each angle, just like you do see the weird break here that indicates that there's a gap. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, right, that one's done, that one's done, that one's done. Well, not done, but basic 
concept complete. Uh, what else do we want, Tex? Uh, I want mirroring. You got refinery? Yep, I just did the refinery. Uh, I need... I wonder if we shouldn't... For, either for purposes of construction, I'm going to slab a battery on this, but do we want, like, battery power in each module, just like one? I could do, yeah. I do like beheading stuff. It's quite fun. It's like, whoop, off with his head. Hanger. Mm. Like that. Entrance module as well. I like that too. Oh yeah, yeah. With with potential stairs down. This is stairs down, stairs elevated. up. Yeah, both. You can maybe build some piston stairs. I'm naming my projectors. These are going to be projectors R1 through 4. Why R? Name them based on the pod. That's that's what refinery pod. Yeah, I'll call them refinery or something. Uh, make the names more complex than that, or we'll get we'll get lost. Not production from pod. This is not a very big hangar. Okay. Because I, I named it Refinery Module, so I'll just name RM1, RM. Mm -hmm. Oh, you already had refine projectors in this thing. I missed that. Okay. Never mind. I'll take my totally superfluous and un unneeded uh, projectors away. <laughs> Sorry, Tex. Okay. The way you said that, I thought we you had forgotten to put them on. No, I'd forgotten to put them on my one. Uh, you hadn't removed them. I had, basically. Ah. With mirroring, sometimes the half block looks like a full block. It's really confusing. Yeah, it really is. Akusiko, okay, great plan. Let's do that. Refinery module is done. Right, you can come and help me then. I want, I, want, I want to make sure we show something at the end of this stream that's like, hey, look, here's it. Even if we have to do it manually by hand, triggering stuff. Yep. Hey, here's our, our modular base building itself. But hey, here's a here's the first room that we should make that's double size. This is our hangar. What are you working on? The hangar. Oh, okay. So what I'm thinking is we take this and the simplest way to make sure that we do this exactly right is just to go... Uh, I would love to stop blocking this blueprint, please. Come on. Okay. Hang on. Because we need we need need to double it up and to the other axes as well. Unless we make it double long and not double. I think I mean, double long. We have we have the opportunity to do that with this sort of modular layout. As long as we keep everything multipliers of the same amount. 
you can just make stuff that double long and use connecting tubes or whatever or just build extra rooms i think this could be a really cool like modular layout to be honest mm -hmm. so in which case these can be going together mm-hmm and then you have the uh, the door at the other end. Yeah, I don't know why that door is missing. Um, and this door is yeah. Uh, uh, that door's door moved one spot. along. Yeah, uh, yeah that's because in spot. the power station it is. The oh, power okay. station has the door in a slightly different spot. Okay, well we could put it there. I had my no. doors. No, no, it's good. I, 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 I like the fact that the power station's got an ever so slightly different door layout, even though it'll still connect, you know, and still have airlocks. Like, you go into the mm -hmm. power station, it's a bit bigger for a single unit than the rest. Okay, so yeah, we just need to really strip this off because it doesn't have a mirror. Fact, a lot of this stuff doesn't have a mirror. Yep. There we go. Okay, that's that's the four, four the six. Yeah, six portals. There you go. Right, there we go. Now we've got a six by six base. Yeah, if you fill up that bit, we've got we got a standard size base here. We can build the hangar out of it. Okay. Woot! Yeah! Fucking oh, uh, boom! You used half blocks here. I don't know if that was intentional. And boom! some potential issues and a report as well sure pornography and everything yep 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 get out of there time okay. I feel like we want to raise up the platforms you know yeah I was good that way we can like, put connectors flush with the yeah, floor put like a connector exactly like have two docking connectors or something like that yeah make this Maybe with, with even... like some nice raised up platforms in the center even numbers I paint bane in my existence yeah unfortunately this because we're pasted two odd grids together this one ends up being an even numbered one Okay, on the roof. I'm with Tell it's been a while since I've done done uh, creative building. Keep forgetting about click and drag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a big one to forget. Fucking hell. Uh, 
I've got to admit, that's part of the reason I'm doing this series. Is I've been I've become out of practice with space engineers building, and I couldn't figure a better way of getting back in practice than getting people in chat to randomly throw challenges at me, basically. <laughs> You'll want a garage too. You've got to pot your wheels somehow. It's a fair point. Fair point. I like it. Okay. Ah, space engine. We've also got the problem where the opening is wider than the actual four block opening. So, unless I get creative here. Get creative, Tex. You've got this. You've got this on lockdown. <laughs> I like it, Tex. You stretch those boundaries. Is who shape. is the? I, I would actually like to meet the guy who decided that uh, the hangar block needed to be exactly two blocks, and no other option. And and no other option. Not not like a a two block for like even builds, and like a three block for odd builds. No, no, no. no, 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 no. no. What Just you get is box. that that configuration and nothing else. Oh, I like the shape you got there. Not a Boris friendly hanger. Not this one. But we can make any kinds of hangers. Maybe, maybe, maybe we run a little competition and we go, hey guys, having seen this, let's win some Wasted Space merch by, I don't know, submitting the best selection of modules or something like that. You know, this is set up by it in such a way that anybody could contribute, you know? I'm feeling monolithic with this. I'm feeling monolithic. Yeah, I'm feeling like this one stays quite square.
Okay, now that I got the basic set up. Get some power in this sucker. problem. Sup, Tex? Mm. Have you broken it? Reality is in colliding with my design that I enjoyed. Reality has arrived and told you no. Yeah, it's, it said no, sir. You don't get to have that really cool symmetrical design because this is Space Engineers. That was even number of blocks because even number of blocks. Oh shit. That's just, that's just peeing in my Cheerios. I'm sorry, Tex, I didn't do it. No, I know you didn't. It wasn't me. Nope, you're right. At what no you? point did I peed in your Cheerios. And confirm. Metaphorically or, or, or actually. I try not to. A man's cheerio is a sacred. I want to put some windows there, I think. Closed off ends. It's modded, but it kind of has to be by default because we're using Bob, but that's the only mod so far. Trying to keep it as such. Yeah, you have to kind of make a, a good argument for why we would all of a sudden start throwing tons of mods into a module, I would think. Hey, it's the glass that doesn't mirror. But it mirrors a bit. Yes, I have not linked the wasted shop yet. I probably should eventually. Ugh. Ugh. Honestly, I would add an audit. At this point, I would add an audit. A uh, modded block just so I could have one long enough to where the opening would be regular when you open when it closes. That looks alright, man. It looks okay. I, I think you're I think you're beating yourself up over a lot of not too much. No, here. Nothing. Yeah, nothing really important, but. Right. Look good to me. Let's put it that way. You, maybe you're a bit close. I will fix this. Slight lack of symmetry you've got going here. Yeah, that was not intentional. I think it looks cool. Chat, what do you think? 
I think it looks cool. I think it looks cool as a little hangar module as well. Yeah, I'm I'm digging it. I like the I like the windows. Yeah, I, I don't know. We seem to have windows on all of them, but they it's something about well, the area we're in. It just looking out the window here actually looks really cool. Yeah, it does. Okay, Look at that so we huge need, horizon. We do need some lighting, however. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 honestly, I'll leave lighting to you, Jonas Man. Lighting is not my forte. Uh, okay. You're going to have to name this. Uh, what? It, it's owned by you, so I can't take a blueprint and name it. Are you kidding me? Probably the same is true for your other pod as well. I want, I, I've want. i been adding stuff to the uh, the main section so that we can go and well, test what the was old... your uh, What was your A-O-I? What? Oh, wow. B-O-A... Rocky Balboa, what did you, what did you call him? <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting a bit distracted by the massive sun that I can see through this. Uh, oh. That looks so much cooler than that. Uh, we, we've put on a, a neutral density filter and we can now look at the sun at correct exposure levels. ND5. Fuck in here. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised that, that that's actually a thing. It's kind of cool. I mean, they are... It's all proper lighting. <laughs> Wasted discovers a thing. Yes. Indeed. And amuses himself for a little while at the fact that... Oh, I see. It was it was ND5 because we had two windows combined. This one's not enough. So, what can I do you for, Mr. Textfire? Sorry, I got distracted for a second. Uh, I was wondering what the weird acronym was that you used to name the modules. It was B O B I O. That's a very good question, isn't it? A E I O U sometimes. B O A B O B I A B. P Capital letters. B O B I A B. All the vowels. Boab. It sounds like a tree in Africa. Isn't that a tree in Africa? Uh, the Boab trees, yeah. The 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 Boeab, I don't think is a tree. The Boab trees in Africa. Yeah, they've all been dying of like apparently. There's some of the world's oldest trees, those things. They're gnarly as all hell. And a lot of the oldest and the biggest have all died in like the last seven years. Well, that's like depressing. 2,500 year old trees have just suddenly gone, uh, yeah, now I'm dead. And no one knows why. Yeah, it's very weird that that would come up, given that I was reading that literally on the news earlier. <laughs> Yes, Baobab. That's the one. I'm liking the look of our pods so far. I really need to give this a final test, uh, but before we can do so, I really also need to empty my bladder. I'm sorry. Yeah. The stream has been going long enough. Only so long a man can sit in a chair. So, chat, back in a moment. Lose yourselves.
All right, guys. So how are we, how are we doing? I hope you guys aren't too bored by what we're doing here. Definitely gonna need a Bob module. Mystify. I agree. Yes. So, if can I leave you to finish off that hangar module, and I will go and uh, set I'm, up. I'm already leaving it. I'm leaving it alone. I've already put in the. I'm gonna take a copy of it. Okay. I uh, name it and so on. I want to go and start setting up our main thing and get the timers going for it. Yep. I've already done it. Already named it. So cool. the question so. is where? Oh, I didn't think about where I need to take a copy of these. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Point, I, I can I can position it. Don't worry. Oh, okay. So then they'll just be in a fixed position. Yeah, for each button they will need to be. I'm you won't, saying, you, don't, you where, don't want to position where we them. Copy each. the module from. Ah, that, 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 that's not important. No. Okay, so I got one set up already. Uh, you've named the rest, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're gonna need a blueprint of that. A blueprint of that. We've already got the base section of this set up. I just need to load the blueprint onto that bit of the whole thing once it's ready. So I just need to now load in. So we're going to have this is going to be hanger. Prints. A module. Position this. That's correct. No, that, that's it. That's it. Cool. So, hangar projector can go off. Let me, uh... And I need to go and add it to the button, and then we just need to add the last one. Okay. Next up. What did you okay, build? So if you, uh, if you're construction. Doing the hangers, huh? You want to slap together another quick room while I'm doing this? Go ahead. Which which one do we need to do? Uh, I was going to do a. Um, I got a lot uh, of options now. A, 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 entrance a, lobby. An entrance lobby would be good. Yeah. But I was going to do real, real functional. This fight. Ah. Right. It does remind me that I need to have the other projectors on in order to be able to see which sides we've got occupied. Now, the fun part's going to be calculating. <laughs> Look at that, man. Calculating how, how many uh, parts we have to put in for all the different parts. Come and have a look, though. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking. I'm digging it. 
That looks cool. And we and when we fill in the fourth side, it's going to connect the hanger up in two places as well. So yeah, we just need a fourth pod, and this is looking good for a test. Well, how about the fourth pod be just sort of a connector between the hanger and uh, and and the way to get up and down? Um, yeah, the fourth pod just be be that. Yeah, the, the fourth pod's our welcome pod. Yeah. Yeah, as Katie says, you don't need to calculate what parts you need. Just set it to survival and take, let Bob take it apart. And then all the fourth pod really needs to be is... You've still got Bobs in there, though. Let me get rid of those. Interesting. I like the idea. Don't know exactly how I'm going to go about it yet, but uh, no, I, I, I like the thinking though. This one sort of be a Terminator module. J just on the idea that you, you you could, there's no reason that you have to have the mod modules with all four connection points. Like if you're willing to just load up the blueprints, hey, you can whack that one. We need a mud room. We got a med room. It's in it, um, it, it, that sort of stuff is in the main core here. This is where our cryopods, our oxygen generation, and our medical bay is. Yeah, the idea is this big base will begin as something that looks a bit like this. We have our little exit points, and then we can uh, have a staircase down and whatever else we need. Nah, let me, let me. Uh, I'll do that while you do. If you want to do the interior, I'll add ourselves some some ways down. Yep. How's that sound? Sounds good. Somebody, and I'm, I'm sorry, I, I didn't see whose thing, but they did make a point that we haven't actually put any air vents in any of these modules. Which is a totally valid point. Plenty of place to put them, that might. Yep. Ah, it's, a, it's frustrating that you can't build stuff on multi-grid. I was going to put some rotor like landing things, and you just can't. Oh well. Uh, not on that side, because that's going to be the one that's mating up with the uh, hangar, isn't it? Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And these are the two sort of hub connections, and then yeah, yeah, we can just have a single there. way out on this side. Mm-hmm. Okay, I see. Yeah. Yeah, mud I room. see. Yeah. So, I think somebody was saying mud room, not not med room. The fuck in, is a mud room? Mud room is something they have up north, where it's a room that you entered the house in that you can then shut off shed off your like snow boots and oh okay yeah no no, 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 no like i know that. exactly what you're talking about it's just not called a mudroom around here 
Um, but no, I, I, well, around here, did, I, I'm familiar with it because I've skied plenty. Uh, and so it, it's a very, very familiar thing there, but it, it's just not referred to as a mud room. Uh, I guess because it's not about mud at that point. It's about snow. Mm, do we even need these connectors? I mean, conveyors on this module? Probably not. Yeah, boy, you really would like a, a hinge stairwell, wouldn't you? Yes. Yes, wouldn't you just? I think there's a, is there no way to do that? Well, there is. It's like the um, MW, whatever his name, uh, MWM or whatever his name is, his, his ramps. Remember those? Mm-hmm. I mean, that's, that's essentially how you do it. No, I mean, is there no way to do it without having a modded block? Look at the size of it. This is silly. Hang on, Tex, I'm going to inset it back a bit. Right, the size got a bit ridiculous. By how far it's sticking out. Be free, feel free to gribble as you please. You don't really have to say that, do you? gonna do it anyway <laughs> have you ever noticed that you need to no no please please gribble no no, no. Well, what i need to say is tex will you stop fucking gribbling time to get on with something <laughs> There's ways of basically doing the same thing. We can't use rotors or pistons. Bob won't be able to build them. You can't project them. That's the problem. If we could, then trust me, we'd be all over that. I'd be, that's what I wanted to do first. It's me, for God's sake. Come on now. You do not need to say wasted use like rotors and stuff he is he is fine persuading himself you, you you have to kind of bend my arm a little bit to get me to use rotors because i find them mostly a pain in the ass I went downstairs, I come back up again, and I'm like, oh, hello. Nice. When I say downstairs, I mean I went below the construction for like seconds, came back up again, it's got a bit of a roof. And I'm like, oh, well, now I see what taste is going for. Sweet. Ramps have a missive, look cooler. I want help, but I agree with you, sure. These guys have a missive as well, but the ramps are missive is... Better, perhaps. Oops. Ugh. I'm gonna 
cutting it off anyway, aren't I? So. Do I really want that silly ramp? Why not put ladders? Because we don't have that mod on. Have a look in text. Looks pretty Ooh, good to good. me. You got like a bit of a corner left to go. Yep, and have a block that of course we don't have because reasons. How is Tex going to work around his grievable nightmare? Tune in next time, folks, the long for the exciting conclusion. Is over. <laughs> Name it. You removed. Oh, you, yeah, you removed the conveyors. This could have done with conveyors potentially for the oxygen, oh, but well, uh, we can do that. It's not that hard. Waits for it to all fall apart. This is the hour, the it's the brave, brave Zetex fire. <laughs> Especially as, as he's missed. About. That's not where the door is. You've missed. Right. I had to jog once. Where we stumbled around, trying to find or be found in a good world gone bad. A turn on the news, a sad state of affairs. Half the people die while the rest actually vertical stairs could be yeah all right all right all right fair enough That's a fair point it's a fair cop this is x fire yep where are they copying to i don't know just making our stairs a lot shorter Hello. I walked up the stairs, I did. Oh, nice. Where do I find my music? It says epidemic sound. And then many, many hours lost to browsing around music library. Okay. How are we All looking, right. Tex? We, we even got two air blocks in the airlock. All right, we named. Uh, can I add our last component? And we can actually uh, test you know, our base. one thing we don't actually have on what? this base yet? An antenna. Why do we need an antenna? Yay, see, it just demanding things. Mud room. Gotcha. How about, how about atrium? I, f I feel you, Ramses. Good call. Having said, uh, I, like, I like what you've done with this 45 degree section. Uh, and he's suggesting that like we, we maybe do more of that and have little 45 degree like uh, ramp sections for getting into hangars and stuff like that. We all named and ready? Give me one second. One. Ha 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 ha, funny joke. You didn't laugh. 
Uh, I'm busy. Uh, atrium. I need to name this door or else it'll constantly confuse us too. And then tray and lighting. Off. Door. Open and close. We don't have any exterior lighting on any of these, which is nah, I'm fine. Down, we can but... sort. This feels like it's worthy of a return at some point, but oh, yeah. I, I really want to prove the concept. Do it. Do it to it. Actually, test and come land down and build our. So we'll need to actually have that. Oh, I know. I know. One loaded on the on on Imagine. the base craft. Yeah, we need to make a grand blueprint of this once it's loaded up with its blueprints, and then we need to make a blueprint of this on the base craft. So that we can then print this once it's all done. Yes. Blueprints upon blueprints upon blueprints, Mr. Textbar. This is how it works. Blue se blueprintception is what I'm hearing. Uh, well, yeah, maybe we'll build a mirrored section. <laughs> Some of this we're going to leave up to you guys to build. Yeah, that's, that was we're part of the load, point. We're going we're, we're to load the basic uh, hub and let you guys build other modules and suggest them. Can kind of have a look at people's modules, set them up, have a look around or something. That could be fun. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see what else people can do. I am sure they can okay. do better than we just did in the, what? Two, three hours and 11 minutes. Three hours we've been building. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm liking. Oh, yeah, that corner is going to work really well. There you go. Uh, you're going to have to rotate. Oh, I know. Get everything else sorted first. Yep. All right. Oh, and I just spotted a missing, missing, missing block. Is that the right way? Uh. Okay. Yes. Uh, you need to, oh, uh, yeah, you need to come, there you go, done. There's oh, I like it. Block, one block that I missed, or that got deleted accidentally. I like it. But. Okay, uh, can you take one more copy of it real quick? Oh. That, that missing block is going to drive me insane. Oh, fuck. Dark's fire. Okay, it's done. All you have to do is reload it, and it'll be the same. It'll be in the same orientation and everything. Because I know we're going to get comments of, hey, guys, you missed four blocks on the atrium module. No, I didn't. That's, I'm, I'm going to blame Wasted. I miss I'm gonna blame, no I'm gonna blame Wedgie here. and maybe Feral. How much work that was. It's not acceptable. Okay. Too much text for right now we need to turn them off. And no, no, yep. I need to assign that to a button, then we need to turn them off. And then we're set. And then I need to load this up into the projector. Pardon me. The projector on the original blueprint. And in theory, Bob should. Build. Okay, you need to come. At some point, you need to look at it from the top down. I have been. I have been. We it looks totally great. unintentionally. Yeah, but with the modules attached to each other, because uh -huh. it's making a really cool sort of off-center, oval sort of opening. Oh no, I'm with you. I'm with you. Oh, and you're gonna be able to look from module to across to the other modules. Oh, that's gonna be nice. Is that not all the modules off? What one are we missing? Uh, um, refinery. Done? Done. Nice, okay. 
The fresh blueprint of you, my friend. A fresh save for good measure. Right, let's go and find a version of this original thing that is the correct one. Or I probably got a blueprint of it. Yeah, there you go. Start a three. And then project it over that. Make sure you turn off the bob before you do. Yep. So. You there, friend. Yeah, you guys totally need to do a bob defensive module or turret module for us. Do it. Bob is off. Hey, Ryan, you don't need to spam chat. What you do need to do is take your own swing at a turret module and a defense module. <laughs> There's no projector on this. What, on the base ship? Yeah. Oh, that's easy. Mm -hmm. Johnny Carter, thank you very much, man. Thank you for the donation. Just got home from work now to chill watching you and text. Well, I'm going to have a bit of catching up to do, I'm afraid, my friend, but... At least you're going to get to see the, hopefully, grand finale. Um, why do we have two cockpits on this? Did you Intention. edit in mirror? Intentional? Okay. Uh, yes, so... I'll just, I'll just put a... Uh, I can see a spot for a one. projector right here in front of the cockpit. That's all right. I can see a spot for one inside. Yeah, but you theoretically, we kind of want it to stay, don't we? All right. Yeah, but it needs to be added to the uh, the blueprint we're coming down with because it's the one that loads that one. Mm -hmm. If it's not on this, then it doesn't work. I know, but I was just going to place it. Where? I can't even see you. I was placing it even right, in front of, in, right in front of one of the cockpits on the on the hub. And then take a picture of that hub and then place it wherever. Where's your starter ship? Yeah, yeah, but you need to see where the pink blocks are. Otherwise, it's not going to be attached to anything. There's no point putting it on the hub. It doesn't need to be in that blueprint. It needs to be in this one. Yeah, but if it's a pink projector, then it's going to get deleted, right? No, I understand, but it doesn't need to be a pink projector. It just needs to be attached to a bit that isn't pink. And you can't tell that by building it on the hub. You have to tell yeah, that by building it on the... Yeah, yeah, I've, I've, I've got a spot. Where? Right here. In front of one of the cockpits, and then we just place that same block on the uh, the starter ship. And that's what pro that's what projects. Yeah, that block the, doesn't uh, exist hub. on the starter ship. I know. That's we'll have to add it. That's what I'm saying. No, no, no. Not not just not the projector, but also the block it sits on top doesn't exist on the starter ship. Really? I thought it did. No, it gets ground down and replaced. Mm, That's no, where parachutes it. are. I don't know. What are you looking at? The I'm one looking I'm at, next to. I'm, one I've I'm been next at, to the whole time. Okay, can you can you paste that right next to the hub here so we're, we're looking at the No, because I don't want to get them anywhere near each other just in case something goes wrong with Bob. I'd rather okay, be well, over where, here. Where are you at? It doesn't. Then? That's what I'm saying. It does not need to be on the hub. The hub is irrelevant. It just needs to be attached to a block on this thing in front of me that isn't pink okay, but you, you, you i'm saying i'm saying something different than what you're hearing i know i understand what you're saying man i just it's i've been over there i've seen it we need to go and have okay. a look at this and find uh, the correct corresponding spot because having looked at that it looks like it's a bit that gets removed like like the bit you've built it on is a bit that doesn't exist on the blueprint that drops and if it doesn't exist on this it will never get built in the first place but it does exist. That's the part that conf is confusing me. Link, come and join me. Where are you? Have you, have you got <laughs> your broadcasting on? Because I'm over just by one of the pink copies we were by earlier. I think I can even see you moving around. Yeah, I can. No, I can't see where you're at. Come over towards the mountains. Why is this HUD being stupid? Over towards the mountains. Coming towards the welcome center. There you go. I don't see you. I see you. You're 490, 80, 70 meters away. 70, what? 
470 meters away. There you go. Hey. What are we playing? Marco Polo Space Engineers? Close, edition? close, close. To your left. Not that one. The one to your left. So close. There you go. This one. Don't kill yourself on it. You can't put it. Okay, right. but you've already added stuff that's not. So. I haven't. I haven't modified this in the slightest. Okay. Yes. The easiest way to fix that is just to put the cockpits in the same location that you put them on the hub and then put the projector block right below it. Well, I ju no, because you can't, apparently you can't do that. I duplicated the cockpits on the hub, which is weird. I, I, all I did with the hub, there was already one on there and I just made a second one. I didn't ever Which, place one on the hub, if you so look I don't here, know why it was there. If you look here, is apparently impossible. Because there's something in the way of that. Yep. That's just said. It's just about adding a, a projector to this. That's all we need. Okay. That, way we, that way we can at least test what's going on and see what bits are messed up and so on. What bits we've messed up in the, in the copy. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say, Jay Bayless, but I'm, I've, I've given up. We're just gonna, we're gonna go with what he's got going. It makes you feel any better. I can't see anything that Jay Bayless has said. Not a word. It might be I'm lagged, but yeah, he has said nothing. You want me to guide you in? Or do you want to guide me in either way? This is a base in a box. There are many like it. Yeah, the cockpits on the uh, other version are on the roof. Yep, they are. Awesome dating site. Goodbye. Again. Hey, you show. Just for fun, we get another one. Another what? Oh, another spam. Dating bot. Okay. Uh, nope. uh, it's alright. I, I got it. I got it. The, w the way I do this is by adding it all onto the toolbar first so that I can go into the um, Bingo. third person camera and line things up like super easy. That way I can I can see it and still adjust things without trying to go through the pity menu. I think that's the right height. It looks yeah, like it. I don't it. know exactly why. It's you kind of the, hard the to the tell. Cockpits. Yeah, no, it's this right. I did it's not add the one. cockpits, I duplicated one that was already there. And, and have video evidence of such. <laughs> yeah, but there's cockpits on top of the hub, and I don't know when they got added. I, I didn't know. add them. I, I didn't add them. So I, I added, added one them. of those. The other one was already there, and I was like, well, it'd be helpful to have two, because there's two of us. Okay. Oh, yeah, that is lined up at the right height. Where's our cockpit? Okay, the only thing missing here is the second cockpit. Ironically, a second cockpit. Yeah, well, so if we put them in the same location as you had them on the base, which is what I was trying to say in the first place, like that, then you wouldn't have to worry we about weren't, We weren't talking about cockpits, we were talking about projectors. Yeah, yeah, we were. No, that, was, that was what I was talking about the whole time. Then. 
and instead of this cockpit here, I would put a okay, projector, it, but that's just me. Yeah, but okay. I mean, the more we do that, the more of this these blueprints I need to update. It's so a chain. This one actually, these two cockpits here match the blueprint that you just mm -hmm. laid on top of this. I, I understand that. Again, I did not actually build those, but no worries. I didn't either. Like, so I'm trying to figure out where the hell they came from. Well, I, again, if I haven't built them, then at some point it must have been placed by you. If it wasn't in no. the same place, then it just... But... Great. I love it. Okay, all blocks, groups, and thrusters on and off. Parachutes, open, close. What was the name of your timer with the Bob? Or are we just toggling Bob on and off? is mapped to the Holy shit. Am I really typing in chat and people are then going mu uh, muted space? Is that really it? Apparently. Holy fuck, man. <laughs> okay, I'm going to change one thing on here. I'm going to give us some landing lights right. so that if we light land at the night side, I'm you minimizing can see where chat. You're okay, we got everything squared away, guys. It's all fine. We good to test this? Yep. Landing spots are mapped, so yes. Uh, let's take another copy, finished copy. We got a copy of it. I have a something honors, of it. Sir? Huh? I have a something of it. It's not going to take off now. No? <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> it's great. Uh, you know, it's that extra cockpit. Gonna... What are you? What have you got in your inventory? I don't have anything in my inventory. Okay, I'm I'm out of the ship. actually make any difference. I didn't think inventory counted. No, it doesn't. 
No, it's just without any changes begun. Removing those two atmos may have been a mistake. Oh, did you remove some? Yeah, we dropped down to four, remember? Oh, but and that, yeah, but it was based upon drop testing, and we forgot about launching. Oh, well, this thing's never going to launch, is it? We didn't Possibly. have nearly enough That's terrestrial true. power to actually launch. No, from, not from not from Earth, what planet? It has no way... We did before, near... to be fair. That's how you did your tests. It's just we've dropped four ammo thrusters since then. I mean, it's fine. I'm just saying, that's why it's now anemic as all hell. To the point where we might as well like, go take it somewhere. Okay. The ultimate test, Mr. Dexfire. The ultimate test. How am I get now? Trick if I can find you now. No, I was going to spawn a welcome center. Oh, I am actually still inside planetary gravity. Yeah. All right, I'll spawn right. a. It said I wasn't in spectator, but yeah, I should know better than that. Give me a flat surface. Any sort of flat surface will do. There you go, Tex. All right. Uh, don't see it yet. But I can just kill myself and spawn it. So. It's shed. Should be working. Helmet open. Haha, <laughs> it's creative. Well, that's one way to do it. <laughs> yeah, okay. sc screw. Uh, we're gonna have to wait for the journey down. Let's not wait for the journey up as uh, well. Would you? Why don't you have the driver's seat? You got a better view. That way, the chat can see it. I'm gonna be in third person anyway, to be honest. But yeah, sure. Somehow you still got. That's the main cockpit. No, Somehow, because I got, I got to do it first. Here, now you should have control. Down we go. She's looking. They're not on auto deploy. Thanks. Uh, they were on the verge. You must not have taken a copy of the one that I uh, was testing. What um, height did you have it set at? I just set them up. 250. Oh. And yeah, I'm, uh, I'm watching. Incoming! Oh, I guess we line ourselves up with the horizon as best we can. Oh, Raximus, I like this. Or Ram Ramseus. Ramseus, the last module in the chain is a repack module that is bobs and hydro thrusters to go back up after disassembling <laughs> the base. I like that idea. I like nice. the way you think. Like like a basically a, a relaunch model and have it be like just like a, a four times as large egg shape as the dropship. That's Grab basically the idea of Falklands. Stuff. Well, full speed engaged. Uh, It'll take a while. This might take a short while. I mean, it's going okay. One benefit of not going too high up is we also therefore didn't end up having to drop the whole distance. The new, uh, oh, I, I, I don't know if you've got GPSs, I've got GPSs and they're miles away because they're the other side of the planet. Uh, I do see the, the welcome center. Yeah, yeah, that, that's... Flex away. The 
plummeting pink projectile. Yep. It's smaller than Keen's starter pod thing. To be fair. Yeah, that's true. This feels a bit like landing that thing. Uh, coming down with that. Well, for one thing, we don't have two honking huge uh, thrusters. Tilt to speed up. I need to speed up. He's right, though. Really? Yeah, it's ironic that, that like, uh, free-falling is actually faster than... No, he was talking about tilting. Oh, please work, parachutes. Come on now. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> stage one complete. The most important stage, because that was the stage that we can't reverse. <laughs> okay. Solid landing. Next fire. Yep. I am activating Bob. Activate Bob. Bob activated. Mumbo, work faster. But this uh, is a not you, set up, did, Bob. Did you intentionally not set set the numbers to something different? Or? Well, now, let's see. There he goes. Now, the four times speed up. Yeah, if only we had a way of doing time lapse. <laughs> Okay. You know, you know any good elevator music? <laughs> I mean, this totally would work. One thing we could theoretically turn off the thrusters to conserve power. Come on, Bob. Do you think? I mean, these blocks are gone. Okay, so the four batteries we have will currently be fully depleted in 107 days. I, I hope it doesn't take that long to do it. You have attached light to the base of thrusters that are being removed, by the way. That's, they were just there for landing lights. Okay. Should be pink. They should be pink. You're right. I ah, okay. am helping Bob out. Bob to, we need to change the Bob to far fly also. Since we're not doing things that are going to be cannibalized, because otherwise stuff is going to burn off and then not get done. Uh, fly mode. To be fair, in the interest of expediency, I am helping Bob here. Yep, I'm going to help too. We can see he is happily grinding away on the pink blocks. Oh, including the box that uh, fell off on mine. <laughs> okay. This, this is our beta test, folks. Beta test. Ah, oh, yeah, shit. These, pa these panels aren't functional because they're not right we need to remove these panels so that the um the new bob can build them build the build our ones with the buttons on them yep careful doing this i got it <laughs> one step away from ultimate uh, doom from <laughs> yeah exactly. all right projector go projector on go bob go this is going to take ages as well. Yep. <laughs> Until we get to the bobs, at least. A 
we're gonna have that. What do you reckon? Oh no, actually he's doing alright. Just helping Bob out a little bit here. Helping right. the boy out. Get the other, get all the other bobs built. That way I, I yep. can set them up. Right, they're all running. Let me go and turn those on. Uh, they probably need to be changed, indeed. Well, no, because they're just building at the moment. There's no grinding or anything. They just need to build, which they'll do by default. We actually set them to walk mode if we wanted. I guess they can be either way. They'll walk by default. Mm-hmm. Dude, these were fly. Yeah, I think so, Elmir. We sit back, we watch our base build itself. We have a few, few beers. Yep, maybe a barbecue. A beers. Get the grill on. Call me when it's the done. The only other thing you might want to do is have like a smaller, sort of like a small ship bob array that would like build itself into like a little mining exploration ship. Doing alright with this number of bobs though. Yeah, no. Dim speed's pretty good. Dim speed's incredible actually. So close. She's almost okay. done. Wow me. Show me the other modules. Righty then. Righty then. The buttons are ready. Come on, Bob. Every door has a misty projection at it. This is what we're after. Mm-hmm. I'm looking good. Oh, look at that. That's cool. You set the grind speed up? I mean, the weld speed up when you set the world? No, not, not particularly. No, it's actually fairly speedy. It's fairly speedy with five of them, isn't it? Well, and after it gets to, uh, to the, the production module, it's going to grab two more. Yeah, that needs to be turned on, but that's all you need to do. Just set up a timer that can just constantly be turning bobs on, I guess. In survival mode, Bob builds you. <laughs> uh, it's create creative building speed. Okay, so. Yeah. Still, though, that's that's good, because we didn't want us to wait along. Wait for the actual survival. No, it's cool that it can do it, but let's, let's not no. hang around and wait for that to actually be a thing. Let's let's watch it build it at a bit bit of a faster pace. Thanks. It's kind of fun watching it come together like this as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just printing out a base. Hey Taylor, welcome aboard, sir. Yep, we've reached the slowdown. <laughs> Conveyors, man. So yeah, while we watch this build, I guess let's talk about the fact that I'm going to try and get this stuff uploaded to the workshop. Um, probably not after the stream. I'll probably get it done tomorrow. But the idea is everything is built in a 13 by 13 grid with the doors centered on each side. So if you guys want to contribute to this, and maybe we can come back next week with like the ultimate like expandable base, then that could be really cool. Because I think this is really quite a nice concept. You just land with that, that one pod, and then all of a sudden you've got the ability to build it. Okay, you might have to go and mine some materials and whatnot, but you are imminently ready for it. So I think we might want to revisit this and see what you guys can 
can do to add to things because there's been plenty of really cool ideas during the stream like turret modules and like ground base great ground vehicle modules and all sorts of stuff so yeah well up to see what you guys have got perhaps that you could build to fit into this same design and then at the end we get this huge great like communal base maybe i can build it all up with everybody's modules in and you end up with this huge great platform that's totally ridiculous be awesome to walk around inside can you imagine it as well with the, the sort of, mm -hmm. that module layout where you're just constantly going through different habitats interesting the blueprint you have of the production module doesn't actually have the builds on it the bobs on it weird uh, that is weird i agree ah she's getting there and of course all the modules can expand x uh, outwards Vertical expansion modules, I mean, yeah, we'd need a vertical connection, you know? Will this space make an appearance on our cooperative? Maybe. That could be fun. Just drop in and be like, ha ha, fools, we're ready for you. It's missing a few mods to make it uncooperative ready. Like, it needs some, tower, some shields and some proper turrets. Mudroom could indeed use a T-variant problematic. You may not be a, a decent builder in your own opinion, but you are certainly someone that at least thinks about it in the right lines. T-junction for that would be perfect. You can imagine it there. Like, I mean, you just got to look at it, really, don't you? And go, that could T-junction off into another hangar section off that side. That could look quite cool. I'd like to build that, perhaps. Wouldn't it be cool to be able to build a base like that, though? Just wandering around like, oh, in this area, I'll have a medical room, please. Boop, press button, zzz, medical room appears. Okay, off this, I'll have a corridor network and then crew quarters. That's how it needs to be. It could be quite a fun communal build as well. And I like the shape we've ended up getting, like, here in particular. Uh, let's see if I can, yeah, I've fallen through it. That hole in particular and the holes that are being generated in between the modules look really cool. <laughs> At the same time, though, I guess we've made... I mean, it, it was always necessary. We've made Wastes Workshop. Although some of our legs, I notice, are in the floor. So it's not perfect. I muted text fire. Shit. I'm yeah. sorry, man. Yeah, that's okay. I, I figured you were probably talking to the channel. <laughs> I, I was talking to the channel, but I, I had no intention of muting you while doing so. Okay, you know. Yeah, I ju just noticed that at least like some of our landing legs are pointing through the floor, for example. Yeah, this, this was... that's definitely a potential issue. I don't have a great answer for it i do leveling pods there we go we build modular leveling pods that you can build temporarily in order to just literally lift the base up and reposition it i i would say for what was essentially a three-hour build this is not bad going it's uh -huh. worked on its first attempt yeah it looks pretty cool uh, I just really kind of want to walk around inside it now. It's, it's yeah. taken ages to build. It's time for extreme help, Sirizzle. Apply help, Sirizzle, take off. Try and do. It's bugging out. Right, I'm going somewhere else. We're maybe too close together. Go on, space engineers. Just build it. 
Just build it, god damn it. It really is. It's just kind of like an exploration of sort of the ramific, like we said, the ramifications of having a module that will build things for you. Yeah, I can't. I would imagine this is probably not going to be the only stream that is investigating the ramifications of Bob. Bob has many ramifications. He is an interesting device. Really we could even go existential about it and start talking about how he represents perhaps the future of our own society and, and how we may have to deal with this thing ourselves in the future as the prevalence of AI and advanced robotics continue to redefine exactly what it is to be a working society. But let's not get into that. <laughs> Way too, too deep for <laughs> such a stream. say something about you know sort of the, how hopefully one day man and machine will too work together to achieve greatness it's gonna you say yeah no that's pretty much what, exactly what i said coming coming tomorrow um i don't know apparently there's already a cyberdyne system yeah that's because people people like to attempt fate <laughs> And the funny thing about fate is fate likes to tempt you as well. <laughs> Let's see what you did there. Very Let's see what you did there. there. I'll roll with that. Wow. Bob, can you get on with it, please? I don't want to build this by hand. That wasn't the plan here. I demand an admin function that is build all current um, in production blocks. <laughs> there you go. I like that. <laughs> Click a button. Book finished. Demo mode. That would be awesome. I, I can't imagine that they would do that because, of course, there's no. No, no. I can't imagine for any way at all that they would that, want to do that. that. Why would they? Does what? Did you, did you, by the way, did you put a Hang on. the mod? Hang on. What? For a second, I thought there was actually a button that did that. Just like, have I just, like, walked into them? Wasn't expecting to have to build this by hand when we were done. I've got to say. Mm -hmm. Give me a break, Bob. One now. Six different versions of just the nano built, not about build and repair system in the workshop. I can't even tell which one's the original right now. <laughs> it's not a good thing. Like, no, it's really not. GG I, I think to the mod creators most, where you can't most even of tell them are, I, was, I was trying to find the name so I could, you could credit them, but. Look to the mod description. Oh no, it's not on this one, is it? Shit. Look to the uncooperative survival. Uh, there's an uncooperative survival mod pack. It has that on top of all of the uncooperative survival mods in it uh correctly linked so yeah that's i should probably link that here as well to be honest start doing a mod pack for this too i'll try and keep like the mod packs and stuff up to date as best i can 
Oh, she's getting there. She's getting there. She's I really good. like I like this power uh, station module with like the multi levels. Very mm -hmm. nice. Uh, I think it makes something look a bit more chunky on the outside, and in doing so, give it a bit of funky room inside. You know, why not? Lesson learned. Definitely need to up the uh, the bob quota on the interior. Yeah, no, definitely. What we've run into here is a is a bottleneck. What well, it does a, sound a like a though. bob a bottleneck. It does sound like um, bob stops doing stuff if you do do too much stuff or at least he gets a lot less efficient because he's busy getting confused as to exactly what it is he's supposed to do mm -hmm. you're constantly like filling in blocks while it's busy scanning to decide which block to weld up next I guess yeah fair enough Uh, you still can't build them like that, Katie's, I'm afraid. Because they're on separate grids, it just, like... There's no... You'd have to try and find a way of attaching the piston head. It would build the piston head and the piston separately. Um, so you would still essentially run into the same problem. Um, or are you talking about the fact that you build them already merged, like merged with the piston head and... Yeah, I suppose that could work. I see what you're saying. You're saying, like, build them where, like, they're actually already merged into the construction on both ends so they count already as part of one grid that could work probably only with pistons but i could see that would yeah maybe i'll just play around with that sometime come on game let us finish this i want to walk around the base we haven't even seen it like connected yet ourselves nope yep getting close uh the hangar module might actually be i'm wondering if it's out of range have enough of the bobs possibly certainly not oh i can hear bob doing stuff over here uh, i'm also doing stuff too so. Yeah, I just suspect that there's bits and bobs that we've missed that he's been busy filling in on other modules. Yep. You know, stuff that's buried in there or whatever. Saves you from this place, baby. They ain't never 
They're gonna find me, find me, find me. I think it's almost done. I can hear do Bob doing the odd thing here and there, but when I go outside. Yeah, I think we're out of range because as soon as I approach something that's not welded up. Did the hanger on the roof? No. Uh, as far as I can tell, it's fixed. Yeah, yeah, folks, definitely. Um, probably some just flat hanger platforms are also something. Yeah, to there's consider. all sorts of stuff you can add to this. Be awesome. If you're going to want to put a larger ship. Where's the atrium projector? You. Yeah, I had to dig out underneath the it. The gear. Need to figure that out. And the gear, but it's not doable either. But hey. I think she's done. Mm. Just trying to like, weld up some gear on the bottom. But I think otherwise. Let's have a look around. Ah. I like it. Now add Hanger. infinity yep. modules. Yep. Finger door entry on open. Let's come on in. I'm coming. Have a wonder. Okay. Oop. Little vault door. Okay, to our right should be construction. No, no, to our right is main hub. Yep. Main hub. To our right yep. here is power. Mm-hmm. Good. Come back out of power. We can go to our right once again. This is construction. Mm -hmm. I like it. Module. I like it. Obviously, you need to hook more of these up. We we got a boring journey at the moment. It's just go back to main room and go right yep. again. But we can make we an could, interesting uh, journey in the end. And then in here is. So we we could actually flip oh. the atrium module and and Hang on, look edit it. Going in here. Well, yeah, but you could also just easily build like another hangar onto one side, for example, or like whatever. Even you know as we I'd currently like sit, it's all be, very uh, modular. What about like a uh, just like a straight hallway module that goes from one door to another door? Yeah, we talked about this. A, a, a thirteen block, just straight line, and a thirteen block corner. You know, just so you can just hook things together as you need. I like it, guys. Dex, nice. would you like to come and join me? I yeah. think we've made some good progress. We've investigated this as a concept, and concept, I think, is good. Good enough that we need to run a little bit of competition with you folks and get you guys, not competition, just community collaboration, fun times, yeah. where, I hey, see what it, if it goes really well, maybe there'll be some, some stuff in, in it as well. Send out some places space, bits some bobs. Be like, yeah, that was cool. Nice, right, guys. Thanks for joining us. It's been an absolute pleasure. We, having planned to go for two hours, ended up spending over four hours investigating this concept. But I think it was worth it. Because it works. Bizarre. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It works, Mr. Dex. It works. We're both orange. Yeah. You're like mm. a kind of dirty orange. I'm kind of clean orange, uh, but I like I'm it. Always, I'm always kind of dirty like that. I think it's good. Right. I think it's good. Well, folks, thanks for coming. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Camera's this way, Tex. Oh, sorry. Will you just come on now? Some kind of. Calls himself a professional. Oh. 
Nope, nope. Yeah. Uh, shit. Teleprompter's going too fast. Again. The teleprompter's too fast. Get me out of here. Oh my god, I'm going all day nine. Shit. Uh... <laughs> and now, another zombie game that no one gives a shit about. It with Battle Royale mode. Battle Royale zombies. Go. <laughs> oh, fuck my life. Yay, three. <laughs> Good night, folks. <laughs>